Freedom 35. Five, five, five. Dude, start the podcast. Wow. Recording, Gordon? Recording, Gordon. All right, guys. Welcome back to Freedom 35ers Cardano NFT podcast, episode 15. Technically, episode 16 for all the original gangsters out there. My name is Tommy. I go by T-O-M-Y. My name is TJ. I go by Lazy T. And I am the other Tom. I go by Lavish Bear. And tonight, T-Bone over there with that jacket on, looking like the T-Bone. Fonzie out there. He's like, hey, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> it's looking fresh, though. I like it. And then you got uh, TJ down there, Tommy Bearhands. Tommy Bearhands. I don't know what that one means. I'm still uh, trying to figure that one out. And you got me up here, Tommy Clayhands, because we're rocking the Clay Nation out here. Represent. Finally, Finally showed up. Yeah. What is that? Uh, Only like four months, but it's cool. Dude, it's fine i just i almost do the craziest thing on this actual hoodie itself was that it was my address like got like someone ripped the sticker out of my mailbox and they labeled my mailbox as vacant that nobody lived there so the day before it tried to deliver they sent it back to the thing and they literally were about to ship it back to germany to get this thing i would have lost this thing forever so i called lucky i called the mailbox place and it was right down the street and picked it up but Dude, I almost lost this thing, and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. So, so Tom, you never actually put your sticker of your address in his mailbox, then. You must have forgot that part. You must have blown away. You must have not stuck. <laughs> I mean, I got his. I clearly got his off okay. But, yeah. I didn't. The four. I put a little sticker said forward too, and it had my address on there. Some <laughs> guy. I know not Liam or other buddies waiting on these things too. But dude, these things are sick. Dude, the, the quality's nice. The, everything's on it. Nice. You got the little good Charlotte, the little cardiology album thing on here as well. So, um. Big, I, I actually the quality is probably the nicest hoodie that i own right now so just that's big nice shout out and then to, to it's actually kind of cold tea. out right now for it i know florida down here it's it, dude it was in the 30s last week but um so yeah and after that too we had a last week we were coming off of our sickness dude it was just a rough like muffled week for us so i think everybody's recovering i know i'm feeling a little bit better i was out of work for like over a week so it was it was pretty crazy for me I'm finally um, getting over it like just still congested but yeah off is gone thank god yeah exactly yeah, dude, it's been a rough rough time but uh obviously there's this space doesn't stop at all so you know a lot, a lot obviously has happened in the last week for us and had some big drops that were supposed to happen this week that actually didn't end up happening so um a little let down on some of that stuff i know the first uh kind of thing uh, you know everybody was expecting to which we haven't covered really too much on this channel which i'm sure we will going forward is uh the cornucopius drop for those bubble jets that they had. I think there was what, 11,000 or 12,000, something of those. I think it was 14,000 actually. It was 14, something crazy. Yeah. Like it was, a, mm-hmm. it was a very high number of those things. And they were only going to be do, doing that drop via NAMI wallet to go ahead and connect to their website. And it was like 128 uh, price point too. So, but those are like the little bubble jets that I guess like, you know, it reminds me of like the Jetsons or something, right? They just like fly that thing around. Like you can fly it in your own little metaverse. The cars from the Jetsons, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. looks sick though. It's super high quality in my opinion. I was, I was excited oh, for it. There is still, a, I still am. Like it's still going to happen. I was just like excited for that day. Well, yeah. The, well, that that happened also along with uh, the CNFT con, the Legacy Facets, which we were excited about with the little clay bots yep. and stuff like that. And they canceled as well. Um, both of them were supposed to drop on the first this week on Tuesday. And the main big thing problem with it was, is that the blockchain is just so congested right now that it sucks trying to send a, send a transaction out. Yeah. Like it's almost impossible at sometimes. Like, I don't know for you guys, but I've been, CC Vault was like the, the quick little plug and play when NAMI was full with the, like the mempool stuff. And now like I, I try to send a transaction on there. It takes hours for my thing to go through. Very frustrating. Even like changing the price of things you're selling sometimes even fails yeah uh, on the marketplace which is very frustrating so I'll, I'll change the price and i'll go to work and i'll come back home and i'll say fail like son of a bitch that's what i've had some people trying to buy some of the ones i have listed and they just keep failing they don't even go through and then i see well one of them in one case they went and bought a cheaper one someone listed really? oh, oh, son of a bitch. you missed out on the sale oh. Damn, well, you yeah, had I... some luck tommy you uh you know you flexed your pernis and uh yeah the pernis <laughs> yo that so that, that i messaged some trick. dude about the palm yeah though so i didn't even do the actual full node part of that like the guy uh said i think his name is he actually posted a link for like nami to go ahead and like to his like individual cardano nodes there's like five different ones that spread it out so the mempool um for that was a little bit i guess less diluted and the trick the it actually worked like i didn't even have to connect my data list to it i just put the you know the white uh the settings and where to put my uh like end like endpoint to be and i actually did a bunch of transactions with it and i've been using it and it's been working pretty well so again i always feel like sketched a little bit about like you know just to just have access directly into my wallet so he does uh, 
probably right like i just need to <laughs> make sure that all my most expensive nfts are in that um but no it's been working so far so uh, i can't can't complain too much about that but yeah the blockchain sucks this week um yeah. and it's just it's all the scaling issues right with all the sunday swap and just uh, well it's everything still sucks but i mean it's actually better this week than it has been last week and the week before honestly i mean it is a little better not much better but still very very slow yeah it's been tough and i know people are getting frustrated it's really hard to do a mint right now in this time period like it is very tough to go ahead and do that and if you are doing it like there's definitely some obstacles that people are running into um i know uh one of the first like drops that are big drops that happened tonight that you know so obviously cornucopias and legacy pass both haven't announced dates um you know, since, since, uh, they went ahead and delayed it. So I'm sure we'll do an update on those when they do. Um, but those obviously were two big ones that a lot of people were kind of, you know, I think selling off a lot of stuff too, to be able to afford that. Cause that, yeah, the cornucopia's drop was 120 ADA CNFT con was 60 ADA. And then the other one that's minting actually tonight that we're talking about right now is, uh, the rats DAO. Um, they actually had their last 6,000 governance tokens that are selling right now for 150 ADA. So they're over here. They had 6,000 of these things. And I think, I'm not sure if I got an update since the last time of doing this, but they were like less than 500, I think, um, ready to, you know, left to mint out of there, which is really good. Out of the 6,000, they had 500 left? Yeah. So they have 500 uh, left to sell. Yeah. But uh, they dropped a new set of these governance tokens, which these, uh, they're not, there's 9,000 of these. They dropped 3,000 of them at first for 100 ADA um, a couple of weeks ago. And that's when I had gotten in with the Genesis we talked about. And now they now they dropped the last six thousand, and the Dow voted to increase the price to from one hundred ADA to one hundred and fifty ADA, and they added a few more designs. So like this time around, they added like the little Christmas sweater guy, and there's a really cool one if I can find it around here. Um, I snagged but, one. It was, it was I like mine actually. This is this was the one I was telling you about, TJ, like the bird like shit like one, <laughs> <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> which, which is actually really funny. Like I like the little like things that they do, uh, but this was one of the ones that was really cool looking to me, like the little trippy tie dye one. one. Yeah, that is that is tie like that. So I think, yeah, that, you know, they've been going all day though, like pretty much, I thought this was going to insta sell out. So with the blockchain being as crowded as people just can't get the, you know, the transactions even to go through. So like um, even me today, I almost gave up. I was texting you. I was like, I don't think I'm getting this like at all. Like I was getting frustrated. I was trying to do it on my phone. It just kept failing. And then I just, just sent one more. I just shut my phone. I was like, whatever it goes through, it goes through. I can't be sitting here all day. I'm trying to work and stuff. Yeah. I almost just gave up and then I checked later and it went through thankfully, but I could see people you know, wanting to get in on it, but just having a situation like me, there's like trying so many times, like whatever, I guess I can't get it today. So they just kind of give up on it. Yeah, I think it is frustrating, but same thing with me too. I sent my, for CC vault, cause I'm, I'm back to work now and had to do it on my phone, which I was thankful for. But the first one, like you said, that was the first time I ever had a transaction fail inside a CC vault for me. Mm-hmm. And then after that, uh, my second one did go off and finally it sent after, I don't know, like two, like an hour and a half or something like that. Um, but it did go through and I ended, I ended up did getting my mints. So, um, and I know you did as well TJ. So if you're oh, a rat yeah. now, you need to go rat. inside the, you need to go inside the discord and go verify your wallet with the bot so you can get into the that extra chats. Right. Then I think even our boy, a uh, race CNFT actually, I think he tweeted too. I He's saw he did that. Yeah. I wanted to come on that actually. So, so the rat, rat pack's too. fun. You guys, are all, you, you guys are all rats now. Oh, the rat get into pack the rat pack, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dope little drop out there. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, that mint even right right now with the uh, the blockchain, it, it's tough out there, man. Like that's for sure. Oh, we got um, a big week though now coming up. They just had a big and you know ton ton of cash or a ton of ADA come in. Um, oh, be interested to see what they now start buying. Yeah, they're gonna start sweep. wrapping up some more stuff. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, their wallet pretty much has consisted of they pretty much have always been right now the clay like space buds were always the first thing, then clays um, and uh, dead pixels, which obviously we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, cause that was a great move after the dead pixels announcement that came out. Um, and then they actually, after yummies kind of announcement, which we've been talking about for a while now, um, they went ahead and picked up 10 yummies too. So I can only imagine what next, you know, what floors they're going to go ahead and sweep next. So if any of those blue chip, I could see yummy, we got some of yummy stuff getting picked up. I know we've been talking about equine NFT, um, has been discussed over there. Um, unsigs have been discussed as well. Um, so there's, there's a bunch of different things that people are looking at. So I'm curious to see where this will go next, but this is good. Like a fun, this is an exclusive, like early group, right? This is like probably the top tier DAO that's out there right now. And then you got like crypto, like drams over here. He's like one of the biggest card on a whales, man. This guy owns like a thousand of everything. The guys are ridiculous. He owns the number one clay too. Um, but yeah, so these guys are all bought in and it's a really cool community, uh, to get into if you are in there, cause you get exposure to some cool, like info. And on top of that, like some of the bigger members inside the community. So Definitely shout out to Ratsdow uh, for what they're doing. I'm, I'm curious to see because 
what the utility of these things going forward is they're going to be dropping their rats token um, to all the holders of the rats. So if you own the Genesis ones, which is one of the ones that I hold, um, the, there's a thousand of those and those got dropped originally. Those get, uh, five, I can see if I can find one because they have the actual G on the actual chest of them. Yeah, like this. So you can see like that little G down there. There's only a thousand of these ones. And these ones will get airdropped 5,000 of the rats tokens. And then the rest of the 9,000, uh, the ones that I've recently sold now, those will get dropped 555 tokens. And then later on, you're gonna be able to stake your rats similar to how Yummy and stuff is staking to be able to earn more rats tokens. I think they're gonna do another 45 million ADA um, out to everybody for staking and stuff, or not Damn. Ada, but rats. Right. So yeah, so that's gonna be a cool, a big shout out to Rats Dow. And hopefully, Tom, we gotta get you into the rat pack, dude. We'll, we'll get Have you, in you there. seen, are they going to do like on their whitelist or maybe in the discord mention, um, like a season two drop or ever a second generation of people getting in, or is this going to be the final? This is it. So what do they do then when they spend all the ADA they've collected? Yeah, well, they, so they, earn, they, earn 10, they earn 10% royalties on all secondary sales. So that's how a lot of the wallet keeps getting like developed out there. So like right now, like obviously with 7,000 times 150, whatever that is, uh, they just made up a big chunk of stuff. But all the secondary sales for this, they've been making, that's how a lot of these buys happen where they make like 17 to 20,000 ADA in a few days. And then they just, that's all just based off secondary sales. So as long as there's an incentive for the rats, uh, you know, token, you know, that's valuable. People are going to want to continue to flip and get in and out of rats DAO for that and trade out their rats tokens. Um, so I think that'll continue to fund the DAO. And then from there, if they need to sell off any of their stuff, you know, eventually then they can reinvest that back into the DAO itself. Um, but that'll nice. all get voted. So it's That's a cool, it's a cool I was concept. curious about that. Like, you know, what do they do when their funds are depleted? But they kind of got that. They thought of that already. So it's good yep. to hear. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. So, I'll keep, I'm keeping an eye on it. He's like, keep an eye on the rats, dude. Yeah. These guys are, they're always looking for big brain projects. And, um, you know, obviously yummy was the biggest newest pickup that they've had on there. So they've added that into their thing. Um, and then Tom real quick, speaking of yummy, I just had to shout this out tonight, um, because we did get the, you know, the retweet and the, the thing back from yummy. Um, but dude, this uh, this intro you made for our clip last week, man, is sick. Like, oh my god, like, Tom just bit over here just killing the an animation game. Like, look at this dude. It's like in the music yeah, on this thing too. Here, we'll have to uh, that, that, YouTube that music. royalties. Yeah, it comes clutch for you know how simple it is, but that royalty free like creator section. It's it's awesome looking, dude. You're getting good with these animations too. Like we had like we had some fun stuff that we had tweeted out this week, and even the. Uh, I don't know if we can play the audio for this one. This one may not be as uh, as good, but this this to me was still probably one of the funniest things that I've seen. Is the, <laughs> you know that. the who's that Pokemon vine? And it's like it's Pikachu. It's like it's Clefairy. Clefairy. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was back in the good days of Vine. Yeah, that was an old one. That's what I thought um, right away because I was trying to just think of like a funny promo picture, <laughs> and I was like working on that. And I was like, since the picture's already made, that's what the whole video is. It's just the picture and then the black outline. So I was like, this is too perfect not to yeah. throw that on you. In. You texted yeah. us in there. You texted just like the black with like the the question mark there, and I was like, dude, if that reminds me of that Vine, you were like already on it, man. Already no, I was gonna it, say you had yeah. to, it remind you of the same thing. Yeah, you had the same exact thought. Like you sent that video right after, and I was like. Yeah, I'm already working on edit of that. I'm already working uh, on it. But uh, dude, so yeah, big shout out to you, man. You're getting good with these animations. And then on top of that, I love that Yummy is actually loving it too. Like they and good fun because Yummy got some hate. Like they they did drop like a, a teaser for some of their their uh, you know their announcement for like their Pokemon ish mm -hmm. like like their inspired animals, I guess or whatever. Yeah, it's like new, new inspired. I, I, yeah, these ones new right here. Yummies. Yeah, and and don't get me wrong, some of these like obviously that looks legit, like a Charmeleon almost kind of, or mix of like Charmander and Charmeleon right there. And then same thing with this, um, you know, even this mixed out with the Charizard, maybe a little ride on action. Probably a ton there. of new ones too that I don't even. Yeah, know. and some of these legendaries. Too, yeah, one hundred percent. But at the same time, like that's literally what these guys have been saying. Like we are inspired by Pokemon, we're inspired by Digimon. Like this is that game we kind of want to make. It's the art style we want to take this. So they're going to have their yummy universe creatures, their monsters, whatever they're going to be. That you're going to be able to battle. And the Nauru is kind of like, like you said, the Pikachu that we talked about over there. So community was something, they were getting some like hate a little bit on by certain people or just being assholes over there pretty much of just saying like, yo, you guys are copying Pokemon. It's like, you guys, you guys should know this right now. We're inspired. It literally by says stuff. it on their website too. Like yeah. they're inspired by Pokemon. That's the right. whole. Or you want to be the Pokemon of Cardano. Cardano, exactly. That's yeah. awesome. And, and I love that. And that's why we kind of we kind of made that note, which we got the retweet from them. But it just kind of said, like, we love what you're building. And those very inspirations made us excited in the first place. And I was like, yeah, thank you guys for making this place, you know, more fun over here as well. So the only thing and, I could think of was like, it's a tough line to 
to like walk for them because some people are just upset like yeah we understand they're inspired by a pokemon we just want to see like a yummy version and not be reminded so much of pokemon when we look at it but yeah as someone said it there's like a thousand pokemon now and then like you said all the other projects digimon other stuff it's almost impossible to come up with yeah. a animal looking thing and not have it look like some form of those it's yeah, it'd be so difficult and pokemon sets the standard right we grew up on yeah. that stuff there's so many of those things now it's like it's hard not to any for anything if you make any kind of little like monster or anything like that had to not get compared to pokemon at mm-hmm. that point so instead of just embracing it, like saying oh we're not trying to copy them it's like look we're inspired by these guys they asked you know they, they allowed us to be the inspiration to the project that we're creating right now so we can hope we can pay them like good homage with the stuff that we're doing so yeah, i just want to yeah. shout out shout out yummy for them um and you know just all the love back to them because again in this community i think they've, they've set themselves up as that you know that game that blue blue chip standard and just like i said globally this this product the hungry naru dude that thing yeah i i, I know that thing is going to take off here um one day i think i actually looked at their instagram too and we, like back in the day they had the hungry naru brand for the naru and that thing had like twenty thousand plus followers on instagram already um, before so, like, NFT, before NFT, yeah. the NFT ever dropped so they were already doing merchandising and stuff they already had a brand to build with this stuff so it just made sense for them to go ahead and do this you know so um big shout out to yummy though i big, big obviously we're big fans of those and like i said hopefully we'll get to talk all to holders soon. for sure all holders for sure one of the other ones um i did want to mention too with the congested blockchain real quick um, <laughs> was our boy uh our the bun not the boy it's the, gotcha. another cute adorable creature over here you have the bun uh that, that goes right back and uh he did his drop with uh cardano man uh this mm-hmm. past week which yeah, we had talked about last right? week yep and they went over to the saint francis animal welfare um they donated the proceeds of that so there's 333 of these things for 33 ada um i'd actually participated in the mint it dropped in the morning and they used nft maker uh for this as well and website worked fine for me i was lucky and was one of the ones to actually get a reserve thing and sent in with cc vault of all things and there was that hour time limit on it and that's when the blockchain is being conducted and then uh the bun pretty much was having fun with it instead of like you know some projects are like guys yeah if it doesn't go through just shoot a dm and we'll make sure we get it sorted the bun's like all right the first half's over now the fun part begins He's like, who's gonna beat the timer? Like, pretty much. oh, waiting for the transaction. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. the fun part. Yeah, it's just like waiting for your transaction to go through, seeing what other people are saying as like the last last block in the transaction. Oh man, that's yeah, good. yeah it's a. Real and he he's just like, who's gonna beat it? He goes, is there gonna be some stragglers? He goes, we never know. So he was having fun with it inside. He did not give any fuck. He's just being the bun, like awesome through it. And um, I'm hop, I hop back over into the Discord because I I had maybe I don't know. Five, like three five three to five minutes left on mine and i just kind of accepted defeat at that point and um i just screenshotted the nft maker i was like guys someone's gonna get a bun available here in a sec just give you guys a heads up and then the bun like comments right underneath in the discord to me he's like he's like yeah you're on our blacklist um he goes <laughs> <laughs> and then um like so I, i'm saying hey, i got hammered by the bun you know the bun's over here just, we're probably we're going for some words dude he's yeah, no we got it. We got we got a love hate relationship, me and the bun <laughs> over here. Um, so but I'm sitting there F5 in my more as my timer's expiring and I'm not seeing the transaction leave my wallet. And then uh for like 10 minutes, I'm sitting there with the captcha. Is this a seaplane? Is this a motorbike? What the hell's the difference between the two right now? Like I I, I hate is this a bridge or is that well, like a, that, that traffic the light? in the bus get me? Like oh. so the difference sometimes it's the pictures are so what, like what well, freaked me out was the tell. fucking the motorbikes, bro. They had pictures of like scooters in there. I'm like, is that a is that a motorcycle? Is that a bike? Like, what do you constitute? Where's the divide? I'm just like, I'm I'm like panicking trying to get my cap off. Well, next time if you want to go faster, I think you just alt F4, and that'll work even better for you. Oh, true. Should I just like shut down the computer too and then just pray that it happens? <laughs> I've had that problem, you know. It says like press any button to continue, and then you press power button, computer turns off. <laughs> that's like, oh, sick. Um, wrong button. Well, that's what happens when stuff's not working, right? You just turn off your computer, turn it back yeah. on, and it works. Um, but, but so the cartridge. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm sitting there. I just def- accepted the feed. I'm, I'm all of a sudden I go look back into my wallet after like ten minutes have passed, and sure enough, the transaction went, and I had a grumpy bunny sitting in my wallet. And I was like, no fucking way. Um, so I was just kind of laughing about it, and I ended up getting this grumpy superhero. And then I go back inside the Discord, and I just post the bun. I'm like, bun, I beat your blacklist. And I posted the thing over there, and he immediately like, I'm not, I'm talking like within ten seconds, just responded. He goes. Don't worry, we'll get that sorted out. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and this, uh, so I went ahead and obviously shouted it out because you know these guys, you know, it's an awesome cause what they're doing right now, and it was a cool little collab for the two guys. It's cool to like see an, uh, one of the, I guess, an influencer inside the community get to go ahead and uh, 
collab with a project. So that was dope to see the two of them. And then of course I had to go ahead and shout it out on here um, and just give my little dig back to the bun over there. It's like, damn man, you get through your blacklist, dude. Sorry, not sorry. And <laughs> um, and then he tweeted right after me, <laughs> rumors circulating that Tommy is right click saved in season three, <laughs> grumpy blunt, and I is now claiming one. to own one. Shake, shake my uh, head. That's so I had to hit him with the South Park meme. And I was just like, right clicked him and called for a pump and dump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, that's dude. good. So shout out to Grumpy Buddy and their drop. They did a great job. And then the Team Maker Pro worked great for it. It was only 333. So the chances of you getting one was like slim to none. Somehow I beat his blacklist and beat his servers out. So uh, that's the last, that's the first drop I had gotten since uh, Halloween. So, um, you know, it's dope. Dope little collab. It sits they there. always go extremely fast. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. just, they always sell oh, they out. Sell right? out he does such limited runs too. Yeah. And, well, I think um, his series three is like a part, I think this is part one. I don't know if this is the final part of series three where it's like collabs. So I'm curious what he's going to do next uh, for what, for these things. God, it'd be cool to do a yummy and bun collab. They'd be perfect together, the two of them. Um, so shout out to the bun, dude. S is up. If you know, you know. S is up. S is up, bro. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to get into, which I've kind of de into uh, this past you like, week. hard. Into like, this. So hard is Tavern Squad. Um, how many how is, did you buy now? How many you have, I should say, or uh, ask? So I've minted two of them. And remember, we had talked about it with Blake last week. Blake kind of got us into this. Blake C and a T. Um, I had minted two. I remember try, yeah, as they were trying to sell out, they ended up having like, I don't know, 900 or, or something of them left over um, in reserve that they opened up to the public the following day. I managed to get one off that mint from there. And then from there, I kind of just was like i saw i started getting like lost over here like in the achievement section so this is like an rpg like themed kind of like uh inspired scene of t collection right now which and i'm surprised level... you weren't you didn't play many rpgs really at all that's why i'm very surprised you you're, you're well, taken to this one uh, i i don't know i'm, yeah, I'm always, yeah, but no, I'm always even sucker the for the grind play, like even destiny was it you know it had its own rpg element ah, that's true that's yeah true. so yeah i mean it, it definitely so, you didn't play like some of the like, more classic ones, maybe I like fantasy wow, like summer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't like, play like some of the <laughs> fantasy ones, but you played games with those elements. Level forty two hundred. Like even back when we were playing, you know, in in we we're in university playing Call of Duty, like the the grind for diamond was like oh, a the pursuit of diamond. Game. I got a, I got a I mean, Spotify playlist. It, it wasn't dedicated. necessarily like RPG ness like like stats or grinding, but it, it definitely had its yeah grind to oh, it. The like grind Destiny is real. One was a grind, dude. Oh, I did everything in that game that you could do, like literally. And then Destiny Two came out, and it's like, no, you got a life now. You can't do that anymore it's either a full-time job so i like that it's not like super in-depth yet but i know that they're working on a lot even since the the original launch of this stuff um they've already added features to the website so if you actually the cool thing about this is that there's levels there's quests there's guides but what you can do is actually log on to their website the tavern squad.io and you can connect your nami or your cc vault um, and in, in doing so, um, there's different things that you can go ahead and do. One of the things they just added today was this preferences tab, um, which allows you to choose the different races over here. The Aquila, which are Aquila. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's just for an eagle um, over there. The elves, humans, dwarves, orcs, and then uh, whatever. And these give you different colors inside of the Discord. Um, and then they allow you to update your statuses and stuff like this. So I, this was like a random message that pops up every time you reload the page. And I just thought it was fitting to keep this one on tonight for when Hydra. Because when the fuck is Hydra coming? It's just so uh, backed up right now. But basically what you can do, I don't know if it'll reload it. It might change this when we uh, go ahead and reload the page. But yeah, just like good morning. It gives you random different things. Some of these are funny that they do. Why'd um, you pick an eagle? You, you have one of these. I do have the, I, I have, I have okay. a couple of eagles. I actually have a couple of eagles now. Like Kila. TJ said, I had uh, Kila, Koila. I don't know how to spell that. Or I know how to spell it, but I don't know how to say it. Um, but one of the cool things that you can do is you can log in each day, you right? And, <laughs> and oh, I got to, my, eight, I know that I know the reset time right now. And I'm, oh resets. My gosh. I know my weekly resets, so like I'm ready to go. I'm ready to DJ into this stuff. So it's 7 PM Eastern, um, every, every night, at least for me that these things reset. And right now the, the quests are very like minor stuff. It's like send a message in the tavern chat or react to any message in our discord. Uh, sometimes it's like post and it, show off. It's channel. cool though. It just gives a different dynamic of engaging with the discord, like the like bridging the NFT and the discord and, and together, like as a legit community though. And that's cool. And, and it's fun too, because you get people who like check in during that time. It's like, Hey guys, what's going on? Just chatting in today. Hit my dailies or something. Yeah, daily. I had some guy who texted me. He's like, yeah, just grind here for the XP. And they use the little um, dead pixels emoji where the, the ding thinks or some oh, level. Ding. level yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> they have a weekly quest right now and daily quest, which I know they're going to expand upon. Uh, one of the cool things too, that they have is also achievements. 
Um, so, you know, connecting your wallet, um, having an adventure in your wallet, and then, you know, the different races, if you collect all of them, they each give you something as well. This was the one that ended up getting me ready to go over here was the table for 10, have 10 adventures in your wallet at the same time. That's why. Um, that's probably, that's why I kind of degen in days. I was like, I got it. I got to finish that out. It's got, it's got to happen right now. Um, so I ended up doing this. The only thing I missed out on so far is just I'm not in the first 200 and 600 of the discord. They have a secret achievement, which is not unlocked. And then they have these game nights. So this is the cool thing that I actually just got a chance to talk to these guys about as well as they're doing actual video game nights like Warzone and um, oh, that's cool. Some other stuff. I suggested Rocket League and the guys like, yeah, for sure, dude, I'm down to do that as well. So they're gonna have their game nights and things like that, which they're developing their community that way. Um, and then obviously these quests and achievements are going to get kind of built out a little bit more. Um, but you can actually go ahead and there's some cool features to this. Like on their website, you can see all the adventures that actually sit inside your wallet. So these are the ones that I have currently right now. Um, so obviously, as you can see, I think I'm up to like 13 of these things right now. Um, this one right now is actually part of our giveaway this week. So this thing will be gone actually um, come the time this nice. podcast launches. Um, but yeah, this is the my uh, my kind of pride one that I just bought recently was a wings. It's my first time owning like an actual wings inside of uh, one of these communities. So they give you even the rarity charts. You can tell like the exotic, the legendary, rare, you know, uncommons and commons and stuff like that. So it's it's the checking all the boxes for me for like this grindy like that xp like rpg element to it so i got two of them too that night i got two of them as well i was yeah. gonna say the first night you guys both jumped in full in because it was based on blake's blake was sending us the topics because we had gone on his live show and you guys there was a one topic on there like oh let's look into this a little more and you started looking into it you're like oh, i just bought two yeah and it's like, <laughs> like yeah, it went that one. fast we were like all talking yeah just i got two and then after that, it like wrote, went more and more and more. And now I have 13 of them, I think. Um, so I, they, the floor drops really low on these things recently. And I don't know if that's just because of the blockchain or, you know, people not, you know, want, like I said, offload ADA for some of these bigger drops. But I think people are sleeping on this thing. Um, you know, it's just, it's just getting going. The roadmap's just kind of getting ready. These guys were not an instant sellout. They minted actually, like I think we had learned with Blake back in like the equine uh, time December, frame. Yep. Yeah. And de December. So, and they kind of started picking up steam slowly and some of the bigger guys had done some, uh, some coverage on this as well. I think Cardano Thor had done some stuff with them, um, and some other content creators as well. And, um, they, they finally picked up steam. Some of the bigger whales started posting about it and then eventually it sold out. Um, so I think a lot of people bought in off that hype at initially, and then they oh, probably were like, what is this? Like, I don't know what this is yet. And it's not automatically doing something. So I'm ready. I'm over it right now. It's not 10 xing uh, Oh, I'm pissed. Yeah. You know, when, when we race in these things, yeah. um, but yeah, so their, their roadmap is just kind of kicking off. They're just getting into the episode two part. So we're in Q1 of uh, obviously 2022 and we're building the achievements and, you know, just getting everybody, um, kind of onboarded and one of the cool things or interesting thing is that i'm that the next part of this roadmap is going to be this summoner school where embarking on an epic quest to hunt down and kill the big bad evil guy you should always have a trusty companion uh by your side but it's like but first you know you must choose a path so trans i don't know what that, that's cool and yeah they got down the line later in q2 and q3 they got transmogrification so i i don't know I'm, i don't know where this is really going yet but any kind of like a gaming thing with an rpg element um, with that kind of style of, of artwork, I'm, I'm a big fan of. So uh, this is my new project that I'm, I'm, I'm getting invested into right now. <laughs> I like so. you choose your path. Is it going to be like, uh, you guys ever read those like R.L. Stein books, the old Goosebumps, you choose your adventure yeah. or whatever throughout the book? Dude, that'd be dope. Because yeah, there'd be something you could do on NFTs too pretty easily. Oh, Cause yeah. Because they're, they're easy. I mean, they're actually, you know, obviously with you having to go ahead and pick which kind of preference you are, I don't know, eventually you get locked into like a role right or if like they're in a season or i know even this if you try to switch your role i don't know if it'll let me do or maybe it will now um but once you do that i think it times you out um for a little bit too before just being able to switch roles again so i think that's a cool feature as well but um big shout out to these guys because i love the achievement system on this obviously i'm logging in every day now i'm just it's a reason to jump in here um and uh you know i'm grinding my nft xp over here Gets his cup of coffee, does his dailies, goes to work. <laughs> and here we are, you know. Um, <laughs> well, I kind of like the idea, but sometimes it's tough to kind of get engaged in all your discords every day. Yeah. This one just gives a little extra reason to do it. And of course, there's going to be some people that just span the same nonsense to get their achievement. But eventually, if yeah. there's the same kids, you're going to see the same kids like every morning or every day at 7 p.m. when you're jumping in to get your daily done. I was just like, hey, man, yeah. doing your daily? Yeah, what's going on? Like, you I know, get. same guys are going to be there every day. Um, yep. The other thing, I mean, we, we've yet to kind of see how far and deep it'll go is with the, the equine. I know they have those 
built-in stats and that there's going to be training elements and that they will actually build upon those stats, but it's also built in how well they can do in some areas, it's kind of all their breed and the horse itself. So seeing something like this, I mean, if they can develop that further and if they've already built some kind of system in into the NFT itself, I mean, you could go, you could do a lot with that where you could actually kind of train and, and upgrade your own NFTs. At least that's what it sounds like you can do with Equine. I'd be right. curious to see another project like this kind of go in that direction and do some RPG elements like that. Yeah, this is kind of just a start. And you could even like really get into like the meta- metaverse worlds evolve or they make their own thing, like a game, like kind of how yummy is like a play to earn or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. This has the perfect like base setup for that kind of stuff. So um, <clears throat> big, big shout out over for Tavern Squad. I know I just wanted to give a shout out because we, me obviously DJ and into these things. I want We've been doing our last giveaway of January, which I know we skipped a week when we were all dead last week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this was a rough week, but um, so this was the one that I thought would be a fun one to give away to somebody to get them into this project. So I hope whoever does this giveaway for us and whoever now is post giveaway right now, they go ahead and actually uh, jump in for their dailies and get involved into the project. It'd be dope. That should be so a big- sign too of a little how sick we were too. I mean, we didn't even catch it. I think until we kind of dragged ourselves on the computers for our Wednesday episode and you had like come out of like your fog of being under like 102 oh fever God. for two days. And you're just like, I don't, I don't know what's been going on. I've been like stuck on the couch and sick. And I don't think I did a giveaway this week. Did I give something away? I have no idea. I was do Tuesday night. It was just the worst ever, man. I was like fever 101 and like shivering. I like, could not move from bed. Um, we had done the, uh, that the sit down with uh with Vic from the hidden order that, that Monday. And after that, I was just dead, like just dead, dead. And gave, I couldn't give it all. I, I missed yeah. out on CNFT Taco Tuesday that night with J Crypto, Carlon Poppy, and uh, Hidden Order and all those guys. Um <laughs> I, even Wednesday came around for the podcast last week. Y'all heard us like we were we were dead. Um so glad, glad to be past all that stuff right now. Um, but yeah, we definitely missed out on our giveaway, but we're back. We, we got some stuff. I think I think we'll do a couple more. We may extend some of those giveaways into you know, some other, other areas. And maybe when that, uh, that actual discord opens up here soon, we will uh, have a nice little channel. Yeah. We'll have a nice little channel for you guys to go ahead and uh, chat with us here. Um, I'm excited for that. That's going to be a fun announcement. That's going to be fun. We're, too. we're working, right? We got it. We hear you guys. We hear some stuff. So we are working on it. We're testing some stuff out first before we open it up, but we, yeah, we yeah. definitely got it coming. Pretty yeah. Almost right there. Just finalizing a few things. Yeah, getting the bots up and running and all those different things, getting some fun stuff to do. And then uh, going to have a good place to do some show offs and some zip and flips. So you can go ahead and uh, share some of the stuff that you guys have been doing. I'm excited to engage with that community. That's going to be a fun part for us as well. Um, Except uh, like, Bun's blacklisted. It's already been banned. First, bun, first bun, the yeah, the bun, Bun's coming in. And it's get, I'm just going to put a blacklist light on yeah. it. That's his role. <laughs> It's blacklist. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it, the only permissions you get so you can only see anything you can't do anything you just watch he has to verify every <laughs> time he wants to send a text <laughs> uh anytime he sends a message the bot anytime you <laughs> like buy the server or you get spam stop yelling or stop talking yeah. you know how like the hop the hop uh, exactly yeah. the hop board one exactly yeah like you've been muted. the hop bot says no you can't do this anymore yeah just timed gives, out he gives a minutes. once he gets one word answers in like for like 60 minutes only like a timer or something that'd be funny um yeah so we'll definitely make sure we get an announcement but it's coming we're getting there soon guys um so bear with us on that um one of the other big big things that um again of course we missed out on this one but i saw it was on our radar we just didn't really mention it too much was um the ada the ada apes society over here um and if you've been in the cnft space and you know a lot of things have been dropping down but this thing has been doing the opposite of that exploding Uh, dude like the growth on this stuff is insane right now like they've already traded two million in volume uh, of ada which is insane the floor is sitting at 450 which has definitely dropped from like the like high 600 700 um yesterday um but dude these these things have taken off and i'll be honest with you there's one one of our buddies inside of our discord uh vinny dude he was he kept messaging me and he was like yo you getting in on this you getting in on this i'm like i've seen chill kongs i've seen the space ape club i've seen other eight projects i just i can't do another one man i'm just i'm burnt out of these things but i was like do you if you want to go ahead and do that and uh I don't think he ended up actually getting in, but had he gotten in, this would have been the perfect one to jump oh, into. Absolutely. Like some of these things are selling, like obviously for, for a high price. I don't know too much about, like these all have like crazy names and they're like Ansley Cortez. This thing obviously has like a robot thing and it sold for 1.9. Well, um, I think they were minting for a hundred though too. 
Yeah, they were. They were definitely a higher mint price, like ninety nine, yeah. maybe. Um, I don't know if these are members and maybe their community or even people of, in like of Ada that I just don't. I'm not familiar with. I mean, there's quite a, some crazy names in there, but I know because there's a Woodrow Wilson one from the um, Balboa. Old Money Project. Oh, really? Yeah, because they were giving away one with one of their drops. Like they were giving away one of their uh, the apes. I didn't know that. So some yeah. of this, like this one's like Bartholomew uh, D. Balboa over here. And that one's like Bartolo? the robot. Bar- Bar- Bartolo? Bartolo? Bart- Bartolo Colon. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Saban Hill, Telford White, Levin Wright. Like they have these crazy names over here. Tomkin Taylor. Yo, you want to be Tomkin? Beardsley Tomkin? Roberts. That's our new I name, Tomkin. One. Tomkin. Uh, which one? I want Beardsley Roberts. This one's name. Beardsley Watts. They have some Beardsley? cool, like, they, they're like these Beardsley distinguished, like, like these distinguished, like, um, like, yeah, like literally like apes. So this guy, he's like a jacket on with like an archer at the top with Abe Lincoln thing. Pretty sure it's but like the, a prison shirt. Jacket. It is a, yeah, it is. It's like, what is that? A paintbrush? In there? Paintbrush, yeah. <laughs> it's some arrows. <laughs> so he's got the most random setup I've ever seen over there. But yeah, look, okay. So even in the, the description of this stuff, a distinguished member of the Cataldi family. I'm going to see, see if I'm okay. saying that right. So I didn't, it, but as one of my like words was like, it, it looks distinguished, like the artwork for these guys. Like some of them look so professional, like the guys with the little pipe, like smoking a little pipe over here. We got Levin Wright. Um, he sold, for, oh, he's a zombie. Oh, he's a zombie. That's why. Oh, that was he sick, sold actually. for 4,300. Like okay. But the one thing that kind of got me about this art style, it's almost like a canvas, like paintbrush style yes. of art it, is what it reminds me of. It's not more like the 3D, like generative or, um, you know, really like super detailed i guess um more modern look it definitely has like more of the paintbrush kind of by you the even a smoke it looks like the brush strokes you can even yeah, see you it. see the brush strokes exactly and it, it looks really nice i like i like the way that it looks i'm curious um, now i need to look like way more into this because look at how deep it goes they have a class where he's a military officer he's a zombie he's a member of a family um, yeah the right I'm family really so curious i wonder what they're gonna be doing with this I, I don't i haven't looked into it too much and obviously the price on this is very high like this guy well, washington may Rochester yeah. Ford, Smokey McPot. Yeah. Do you remember the, uh, what was it there? <laughs> I was Peel looking sketch? for Smokey McPot. <laughs> <laughs> Smokey McPot. Do you remember the Key and Peel sketch? That's my alter ego. The East-West Bowl with the football where they had like, Jack Mary, Jack oh, yeah, yeah. Tricks. yeah, they had all the crazy Fudge. names. Like, it's Fudge. <laughs> <laughs> but this reminds me of like some of the crazy like obviously these guys are i guess a little more distinguished but even distinguished member of the ford family the wright family i don't know if that is in reference to like the motor like distinguished members of like big families because the Wright obviously you could take maybe like the wright brothers or something along those lines ford like the henry ford. like obviously there's some bigger names there and i don't know what the rest are but whatever this is this dude uh with the little crown something for 5300 or 5200 ada like that's Damn, it was bought and flipped again that's sick that's crazy dude can you imagine the guy who I'm bought it for 1500 we've yeah. seen a couple of those that's wild well, think about dude i think about that flip right there like the guy bought it for 100 ada and he flipped it for 1500 and i'm sure he's thinking like hell yeah dude that was a great flip and that guy goes around and turns around and flips it for 5100 like could you imagine wild i would i don't even know first of all i, mean, I don't know if i'd have like the guts to do something like that buy it for 1500 like okay i'm gonna flip this for 5200 immediately i don't know if so I fast think yeah, about they, doing that they know something maybe more than we do like studs i like the guy's name studs the beard yeah. on too grace and de la cruz so are there Edwards. multiple ones that have the same last name but different first name so this one's I've seen this right? one's the wilson last name gutierre but yeah because they're all members of the, the wilson. wilson family that's obviously their, their family name but like are there multiple apes that are members of that same family so far yeah there's another wilson yeah yeah okay. one of d balboa that's a pretty okay. unique name right there monet there's a couple monet, whites Mars. yeah there's, there's there's thatcher white and claudian white okay so yeah they, they're so, all see so you can get like you could buy the whole family up you can get the whole family of like apes under yeah. one last name kind of thing Pablo so, yeah, Bel- yeah Dave Balbo Wells Doug Wells, yeah. Yeah. all right so I don't know anything about this Nash project Roberts. now and I probably now I need to now I'm curious at least uh, I think oh, I'm yeah. in their discord too I just are you I, I don't know I just I guess I forgot about it honestly I am their discord oh, I, I, knew, I knew the mint was happening I just oh this guy's like alien eyes look at that it looks crazy looking oh yeah um, he is an alien he had alien body alien that's that's a dope one right but he's a merchant he's a merchant class yeah, I need to learn more about this right now, huh? Yeah, right, yeah. for sure. So I just this one just caught our eye. Like you can't not talk about this project. They've been blowing up, right? And there's something going on back in the backstory of this. And now, um, you know, hopefully, maybe somebody. Oh, I think comments. it's a DAO. I was reading right in their Discord right now. 
Is it? So yeah, somebody needs to help us out in the comments for what, what this is or anybody. And then when we tag them on Twitter, or some of their community, yeah, definitely break, break us into this. this. Like, what is this? What, yeah. Like why, did, why do I always miss the good wins over here? I always we, recently, I'm so skeptical on stuff. And then something like this comes out and then boom. I sent that meme that someone proposed on Twitter. Like I know my NFTs I made go down and the one I don't get into like goes up. <laughs> It's, the ones I can't get into these blockchains broken and I'm just yeah. like sitting there watching my transaction and going two hours late. Just like, ah, cool. Nice. I guess that one. Sure. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Catch you guys on the, next, right? on the second the next day, as it's like selling for 608 already instant floor. And, and you're just like, just like I'm waiting on a refund. I still haven't got it two <laughs> days later. That's tight. Sure. All yeah. right. But um, yeah, that's, that's, that's insane. a big project though. Definitely caught our attention right away. TJ, yeah. I think you texted right away. Just like, I was like Man. crying faces, like 535 <sighs> floor right now. What the fuck? I know. I'm uh, anybody who obviously minted multiple. I don't know if he minted, but I think they were having, I don't know if they're having trouble minting at all because it was, I'm assuming they had some with the blockchain being the way it was. Um, but I know there was, I think there was a whitelist for those as well. I think that Vinny was asking. Yeah, they had a whitelist the day before and then the day I'm reading it now. That's why I'm going oh, this stuff a little bit. They had the whitelist before, the day before, and the, the public was the day after. If okay. it is a DAO, that would make a little more sense too. Because otherwise, like, they're just monkey projects, untouchable. Like, they're just, it doesn't matter what monkey it's, project you come out with, it's going to like just moon rocket. Like, I don't get it. All of them. Everybody off. wants to be chase that. They chase that board eight, you know? And uh, I mean, I'm not saying that these guys are doing that, but it's obviously a different style completely. Yeah, completely. Uh, but just, it's still just, we like, you see it, and you're just like, I'm not interested in anymore. Apes, monkeys, you know, I don't, I don't want it. Does, I don't care what that's yeah, or not. It scares I don't me want a little it. bit, right? Yeah, you're just like, I'm just interested in something new, something creative, just something that, I, you know, actually kind of like gets me like, oh, wow, this is interesting. Like the Tavern Squad, you know, and having the achievements and stuff like that yeah. really gets you into it. Uh, but if this was a doubt, it would make a little more sense. I know TJ said you're looking at it, but we, we definitely got to do a little, a little more research. And yeah, we'll, we'll jump back into that. Yeah, I'm got, sure. Oh, congrats to everybody who minted that, man. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's a kick ass uh, to drop for you guys out there. Um, one thing that, that dropped this past week, um, as it took me nine hours to go ahead and get this thing, probably more like two days. Um, the unsig tokens had dropped actually from the unsigned algorithms, um, their generation two, which we had talked about this. This was a drop for the people who hold unsigs. Um, one unsig got you one unsig token, and the way you redeemed it was through drip drops. So if you had, you know, it did a snapshot of all the wallets who held one, and then one to one, basically, if you went to drip drops after the, the last epic. You picked it up and it was available for you to go ahead and claim from their website. So this is the next art project from, um, you know, from Monad Alexander, um, the creator of Unsigs. And this is more of a, uh, as you can see, a more of a geometry based uh, thing. I don't, I have no clue. Like you can zoom in, like in and out of this thing and like play around with it. And I've seen people do like some of the AR. If you line it up, right, it almost looks like a perfect like triangle in certain, certain aspects of how you do it, like playing with the, the frames and stuff like that, like that. You can kind of almost get it like looking like oh, that. Okay. Yeah. I can see it now. Yeah, yeah collateral cool. yeah. style. All right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. It, it's cool looking. What? But I don't know what he's going to be doing. Um, obviously, you know, it's it's going to be something creative, whatever it is. I think he has be- like he's a background as like an architect. Um, so he's doing some crazy programming and the way these light models hit. Obviously, it's something to do. And I know unsigs are like an art study. He calls them um, of all the different colors inside. Like they're not all the different ones, but. There's 31,300 or 31,119 unsigs. So there's all these tokens right now that the project hasn't dropped yet. These, but this will get you the mint into that project. So people are now the policy is verified. And I saw them actually selling on JPEG store uh, right now. So you can actually go buy these tokens to be able to mint into the next one. And I saw the floor at one point was sitting at like 350 or something like that oh, to, to get into these. Well, because the unsig so. floor is pretty high too. They've always done well and yeah. stayed steady. I know because. So. You had to have an unsig for this. I know TJ, you got a little excited at first. You're like, "Oh, drip drops! They're like next <laughs> rewards is an unsig token." And Tom, mm-hmm. I was like, like "Oh, it's you got if you're a holder already first. If you yeah. already have one, it's sorry, real right. fast for six. You need to have order. one. Yes, yeah, mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> distinguished TJ. <right? laughs> uh, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of shout that out because this is is I'm excited to kind of see what the next move is for unsigs because they were. They were way back in the day too, um, way before I had, I was uh, jumping into CNFTs. I think they were back maybe in May, Mayish, somewhere in that time frame. But I think maybe you still bought early. it as a decent price when you got in on it. Uh, I bought, I bought it. That was my only auction I ever did. I actually auctioned inside of the C CNFT.io Discord when they were doing au- doing auctions in there, and I bought my uh, unsig for I think five hundred and ninety four ADA oh, at the wow. time. 
So it was definitely, uh, that's, it was a, definitely that's a big purchase then, huh? Yeah. That was one of my first biggest purchases outside of my stupid bit punk that, uh, that I chose over All a space, right, but be nice. I know I'm just salty. <laughs> I missed out on my space with chance to, it's um, also cool seeing them like utilize drip drops more too. Like, I mean, I forget, was it Ken? It's crazy, right? Who turned you on to that Tommy the first uh, time? Wait, so when I was, space, I think. the drip drops, we were in real talk. Drip, drip, drip. And, yeah. Drip, drip, drip. God, I love that gift. Tom, can you please edit that? This week? <laughs> do, do, do. Let's hover over my face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, no, so I was in Real Talk and that was during the time when I was actually um, during New Year's when I was off that week and I was jumping into a space and I think, I forget his name. Uh, I don't know if his name, Alex. I don't know if he's maybe named Alex as well uh, um, over there. And he was speaking in the space about drip drops and what it's going to be off, off, uh, like offering and how, and they were just like, you guys don't understand like, yeah, like the, you know, the hosts were basically saying, you guys don't understand how big this is going to be for Cardano. Cause basically what it does is it saves anybody who has like a, um, a creator. Think about this. Uh, Unsigs, there's 31,000 of these things. Can you imagine if he needed to do an airdrop and had to drop dust fees for 31,000 yeah, different that's things? Wild. That'd be expensive as hell, right? Just to go ahead and drop something for free out to people. So instead of doing that by utilizing drip drops feature, the, the fee is very nominal. I don't know if it's a one time, it's a one-time fee plus maybe some extra, a little, little extra stuff. And it, and it allows people who grab that wallet to go in and just grab it for themselves. Like he, they, he does not have to go ahead and actually do that. And it gives you a good snapshot. It's a because, smart way to do it, honestly. Well, think about it. It gives you, it tells you your actual engagement rate too, right? For people who actually, like how many people actually showed up to my drop? and actually claim my thing they can actually get that real-time data when people yeah. go and actually pick it up mm-hmm. so that's actually that's a really too. good concept yeah and when we we, t- we were talking about just briefly here before that with um you know with, with sunday swap like I, I i read somewhere that i heard that i don't know if it's true or not that possibly sunday swap is looking for their iso for any of the stake pools that you stake that are part of you know going to reward you on sunday to, to actually be able to claim them through drip drops which if they were able to do, if they did something like that with, with Sunday, which obviously is a huge thing, that'd be insane for drip drops like that. That's actually crazy. So they're, they're, they're giving a good thing, you know, to a good service to this blockchain. It's definitely unique. And I don't know of any other blockchains doing something like this, at least right now. Um, so that's, that's super cool for Cardano itself, but I thought this was awesome, obviously a good way for him to go ahead and do this um, for his drop, just because it's, it's a unique, it's the first time I've, we've seen something like that. Uh, for it's a working great yeah no it's been working fantastic i remember when you brought it up the first time i was like that's a cool concept and now like just i feel like i'm hearing it more and more like everyone just is, is using it and utilizing what the, it. Do, do, do. Well, i'm just not <laughs> laughing because i remember when i asked with tom was talking about a story and i was like we brought it up already but it's just funny i was like oh how do i get one of those things i know drip traps i just you can't get one you have to have an unsick tj you, you know i know <laughs> TJ, TJ, TJ's like y'all for sure claiming one of those things i was like oh we'll go right now i'll get it you can't get one okay you can buy you one Three hundred and fifty-eight, or maybe it's less now. Maybe I don't know. I, I, I don't want to know. I don't want it. I want it. Uh, you can have it. <laughs> you can have it. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Drip Drops Unsig. I'm curious to see what this next drop is going to be called, and obviously, I'll be claiming that when that does come out. Um, another update to this week: big drop that we're looking forward to. Yes, Aonium Sky, Aonimski. Annie, are you okay, Ski? All right, one of our favorites over here. I heard somebody say it in a space recently, and then butchered the shit out of it, and it uh, it made me laugh just to oh, think about where we there. where we came from uh, since the start. But Aeonium Sky is the correct pronunciation He's, of that. His art is still very undervalued, in my opinion. I well, mean, it, 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 it people just... sleep on this shit. Remember, so last week we had talked about the test mint, right? We were over there, and we're sitting there like, yo, that test Night mint's going. coming out, and Block Ten's going to be after it, right after it, and there was a the image. And we're sitting there and we're like, yo, and it was this image right here that we're showing on screen. And it was like, yo, that's block 10. Like, it's looking really good. I can't wait to get it. And little did we know that was actually just a testament. That was only for what, seven ADA that it seven was? Seven ADA. Seven ADA. And they best, used NFT. Best ADA I've spent. And look, I mean, dude, look at the detail on this stuff. This is a testament for seven ADA. And you can still, he's got the words moving. Everything's got like, even the leaves are over here. are just like making like little things. It's it's crazy to see like what he's like that's insane the detail um for what he's got going on so the even his uh his testament over here is is insane like like i would buy this for way more than seven eight his his art is top tier in my opinion for oh as far as when as far as an artist goes right like there's nobody offering anything except good artwork like aeonium sky should be on your on your list up there for the absolutely 
um, I, I love I love what they got going on. And again, I don't know if it's he, her, them, they. It goes by they as like an entity on their profile. So I don't know, you know, who it is. Yeah, but they're, they're artists. Aeonium Sky. It could be like a collective, like the Hidden Order. I don't know who the hell really? it is. It's somebody, but they're whatever they're, you know, whoever it is, they're doing an amazing job on their stuff and just wanted to take a big shout out. So the yeah, Testament, big fans. Um, I missed out on the Testament, TJ. My CC ball uh, expired and my transaction, I think, TJ, you got in, right? I sniped in there. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. That's dope. Is that your first Aeonium Sky piece? My first one. There you go, dude. That's that's awesome. Sick. If you do, if you guys do want to pick this up, people are insane. And somebody was selling it for like 12 8 or 10 8 or something like that. Um, yeah, give me, give, give me that all day. I'll, I'll, Even the I'll, cars. I can't believe how cheap some of the cars are. And I think well, those the, look fantastic. The floor for the cars I saw right uh rose, it it's was like up a little bit. Like, yeah. It's like 50, 40, 58. Now. Be, that's still yeah. a steal, though. Oh, yeah, 100 percent I agree. For anything that, that they do, because I mean, just the amount of time. It must take uh, to get all this animated. This would be one of the most interesting sit downs. I'd, I'd, you know, really be interested to talk to them because of the, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just curious, like what the process is, the, the you know, right. software, how they make it. Um, and, you know, hey, if they want to, you know, we could set up one of the, you know, like when like the mobsters go on the news and stuff like that and they're just all blacked out. <laughs> Cover their change, face out. Yeah. 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 You want to, you want to, yeah. 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 If you want to stay, uh, stay anonymous for sure, we can, just, uh, just put like the gift, just sit yeah. behind the gif and then like the speaker moves like kind of corn style like, uses the animation or something uh, like that. tight but uh yeah, yeah. so These the big so thing cool. for this week is uh block 10 is happening on february 6th which i believe is that's a sunday right one day yep. sunday um, at 2200 utc which is 5 p.m eastern over here for us yes. and uh i believe i don't know if if he's going off a past one it's going to be 22 ada um and i believe there's 500 of these maybe now i think they updated a little bit yeah they they're increasing the amount for sure yeah because it, it used to be they used to be one it used to be, one, bit, used to be like 125 or yeah. 150 and then and that was like the one the days of just send as fast as you could and that was the day like where i had to go ahead and get a nami wallet tj got wrecked i think that was one of your first mints where you're just like i don't know my spending password and it's like oh, oh it's that was gone. my Uroy. yeah i don't know yeah hold it wallet Boot yeah me. So that was, um, you know, obviously Aeonium Skies evolved since then to go ahead and he did a Discord um, drop and that kind of had some mixed reactions. So now we got Block 10 and they're using <laughs> utilizing NFT Maker. A lot of people are utilizing that now, which works really well as long as you can get to the website and your wallet actually sends. So if recommendation for this would be to go ahead and, you know, get Daedalus up and running prior to this, choose the other wallet feature if you, if you can make it through and then um, you pretty much guarantee your transaction will make it into the no, time. Every, to everybody listening, you CC vault. TJ, and... <laughs> TJ always does. He's like, no, don't worry about it, guys. It's mine. Don't uh... worry about it. <laughs> what you do yeah. is you just log in to Coinbase and you'll get the address <laughs> through, through Anonymous <Andrew's> Guy's <laughs> Discord and you just send from your Coinbase. It's simple. And then, That's it. And then Coinbase will own the NFT and not you. So definitely don't do that. Uh, do never, never mint from an exchange. That is one big thing for anybody listening. If anybody new is actually listening to this podcast and not just here for uh, the returning viewers or somebody who's into CNFTs, please do not mint from an exchange. Please, Especially because you don't see it as much. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I never understood you just would see it in people's instructions. Like, hey, don't mint from an exchange. Send from a wallet like your Roy or, you know, uh, Nami back then. And I never knew why I just, you just did. And then until we heard the story from Fettuccini where, you know, it gets sent to that void wall where they can't accept them. So it gets sent to just like a, yeah. A address that I, I assume, presume a bunch of just NFTs are sitting on that people have made that mistake. I can't imagine that money sitting in some of those wallets. Oh my God. Can you imagine if you had like a one, something that, can you imagine like a board ape or something? So I'm saying, is there a board ape just sitting? Like, is that why they're on those first? And like, how do you rectify that and get it to the correct person? Like, oh man, that's going to be a mess. Uh... But... That, that would hurt that hurts Oops. really bad like i would oh man i just feel for anybody who has to deal with that kind of stuff um because that would just insanely like kill me right now i remember when pool pm updated and uh all the fungible tokens got put up to the top um and i logged into my wall my wallet that day and i just saw like 45 nfts and i'm like just sitting there I'm like what uh, I, I was like i have like 500 of these things sitting in there and there was 45 and my heart like sank into my chest i was like no what just happened so i can only imagine like people losing something like that and it also is an important so making well, sure I, you have a hardware wallet you just made me think of that though too jpeg store had that update right where now you can see or search by your nfts on jpeg store yes. and actually finds the ones you want to find because i know you had that problem where it was only displaying oh my god yeah 
a limited amount of NFTs. So you couldn't even scroll through your entire collection to find the one you actually wanted to sell, which would fuck you then because you it, can't it was sell it. You so can't find it. frustrating because I had, you know, like I said, 400 plus NFTs. It takes a while to scroll through all those to even find them. So yeah, and then at one point it was only loading, like like I said, a t I kept saying to TJ, I'm like, dude, I can't get my NFT to load. I have to keep pressing F5 to see if a new set will come up, up there for me to see if I can find the one that I want to sell. You're like shuffling them. Yeah, you had like yes. a shuffle, just hoping the right one would pop up. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. So they finally did upgrade that search feature for that. And JPEG store, shout out to them. They did, um, there were so many pending transactions sitting there when people would go to click into one and it would just be like pending because the blockchain has been so congested. So they've eliminated anything that is pending. You know, they are able to hide that feature too for them. So um, marketplaces are getting better on that and obviously it's improving. But yeah, that search feature for them is, is was key. I, I needed that. So now, uh, now I can wait and, and yeah, the failed purchases and stuff like that. That's definitely a, a big thing this, uh, this past week. Um, speaking of and continuing on with more mints that are, uh, continuing to go on right now that we're excited for is Disco Solaris, um, Solaris, Solaris, Solar, Riss. um, this one is, is a super cool one to me. I love the art style on this and TJ, I, I think my first interaction to this actually was from our buddy Wraith CNFT. Uh, I saw it inside of his Discord, and I actually jumped over there. Um, so I think uh, you sent it to me like beginning of the new year, like you, yeah, sent me their Discord or something. Yeah, um, it, I better see send it. Of course, I'm a profile picture guy. I loved it, so I was I'm excited for it. Well, the artwork is definitely dope, and it reminds me of they had like that, like you said, like that '80s like Miami themed kind of like neon like um, artwork, which is right. really cool. And um, they they're dropping some new teaser trailers and stuff like this, but they also have like a music aspect to them as well um and um was it amber was it amber vhs was that the name on there um, i think that's what it was yeah yeah she, she um she has like a music video or something in the background of this stuff and um uh, it was playing and, and it, it, it set the tone perfect um kind of for this like city this unique vibe it's like a retro like i said like 80s miami like neo miami um is kind of what what it is been but it's a story driven um uh, retrotopia is how they're, how they're describing this thing um, and these things are minting on February 8th, which, which day is that? That is a Tuesday, February 8th, um, 7 PM UTC. And that's 55 ADA, I believe. 55 ADA. Um, there's a white list too, but it's not just strictly white list. Mm -hmm. And, I, and the two of the main people are, are game developers experience. So from my understanding is they're eventually going to try to do some sort of rpg style thing a little maybe like a tavern squad style thing where you get right. xp and stuff I, I don't know for sure like i'm just kind of speculating on what they were saying in the website and stuff but i think that that's what they're planning on doing for now it's just artwork with some other utilities and stuff well yeah because when you jump over from their website over it tells you to kind of jump into the discord and inside the discord under the faq um kind of gives you a little bit of background about what it is and then what's the utility of these things and it says the, t the, you know, the holders of disco solaris um, will step into a ship traveling to neo miami first off-world city created by an uh, elusive billionaire inventor whose company promises the citizens a better life and a sustainable sustainable biodome city far from polluted earth um so that's that's interesting um, like they call it they call it disco punk because i was going to say looking at it myself I would yeah. have guessed um, retro. I would have guessed more like a, like a neo Tokyo like cyberpunk future type look. Yeah. Um, but seeing the pinks and like the blue and the purple, I definitely get that Vice City driving down Miami Beach, like 100%. Scarface kind yeah. of vibe, like those neon colored lights yeah. like that. Um, so, but disco punk that kind of sounds kind of sounds like a cool blend, like a futuristic uh, take on like a retro Miami '80s thing. It looks like a place like I want to be at. Like it looks like fun, um, wherever it is. Like it's in, so it's basically inside. I didn't know it was inside oh, of just the biodome. Miami, okay, but completing quests, you already got me signed up right there. Like I'm, That's I'm, I'm in. Dude. We were talking about Tavern Squad earlier. Like, Yo, sign me up for that. So if you're able to connect your wallet or however it may be, join factions. Um, that, that's interesting. And then they're going to be able to win prizes individually, collectively, including, uh, NFTs and a chance, chance, a chance to place their faction logo on one of the Neo Miami giant billboards. Um, and then this, yeah, Amber VHS is doing like a live stream, I guess as an artist, um, doing some of the music for this. Um, and they kind of were asked about the word metaverse. Are you guys building a metaverse? And, um, you know, especially what we've been talking about here, like empty promises when you have like, just throw that word out there, like, what mm -hmm. does that mean? 
Um, so the, these guys are kind of already kind of keeping it real with you, basically saying, you know, it's, it's like a unity or an unreal. It would take a massive amount of hours, pre-made assets and all that stuff. They're like, we're not planning to do that. If you're, you're picturing a huge 3d MMO game, that's not our goal. Um, okay. So, but what they said is they do come from a game development background, like you mentioned, TJ, with 12 plus years of game dev experience um, and plan to use that to make the Disco Solera so you need project um, combine elements of video and traditional role playing games. Um, so, you know, the video arcade in Neo Miami played video games, drop you surprises inside the, you know, so uh, I don't know. It sounds it sounds like fun. Um, it's definitely something different. Um, and it's obviously it's caught the attention of a lot of different people. I think they're. Twitter now or Twitter's now jumping up close to 5,000 followers now. Um, so I know that that's getting big. Um, I like the little min count on it too. It's only 5,000 of them or almost 6,000 of them, I should say. Yeah. I like and, that. Well, the cool thing too, is that they're on their star map over here. They do have collaborations with other projects, which obviously, um, you know, we, we had talked to, uh, we'll show here in a second, our, our boy race NFT, but they also have stuff with cypher kicks, Soho kids, DJ and crypto club, oh, mutant wow. NFTs, Ada, Ada ninjas, lion legends, and then universe 25 and some more. Um, so obviously they're, they're already talking to multiple people inside the community. And I think, and you know, these, these are all solid, uh, projects over here as well. So, you know, if there are, they're willing to commit to themselves with another project like this, you know, obviously you can hopefully give you a little bit more confidence, at least um, in the team that's that's over here as well. And I did see, like you said, that uh, two, you know, at least two of the members are like fully docs. I think the Amber um, and then one of the, the devs as well. Um, so the Neo Miami thing, I think that's super fun. Um, the sneak peeks, like some of this stuff, they do look very dope. It's definitely like the profile, like pick style stuff for some of these things, but the artwork is very colorful. The pinks, like the greens, um, as uh, there's a DJ and crypto club, uh, collab right there as well. Um, that's pretty are, sweet. I like that a lot. It looks really nice. I, I'm yeah. a big fan of what they're doing. That's the hot that's Charles Hoskinson. One that one looks well. dope. I like that one. Yeah. That's, I that's mean, I like them all. That, one, that one's, that was tight. Yeah. It, I love the Neo like kind of vibe though. That's, it's definitely a, and yeah, she's, I gotta, I gotta listen to these songs. I don't know. I'm a big like rocket league fan. So I feel like I'm gonna get that kind of vibe, um, from those kind of type of songs. Um, those are actually really cool right here. The helmets and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is one of the ones that kind of snuck over to us um, from our boy Race CNFT. So big shout out to, over to him for getting us involved with this. But if you're looking to mint, I know this is going to be a big mint as well. So next Tuesday, and like I said, seven seven p.m. UTC. Which what is that for us, TJ? Two o'clock? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, two o'clock. So go ahead and check that out. Like I said, they got a white list, but they're also going to open it up to the public. Um, so I'm excited. This is a dope looking project. Um, and that's definitely going to be on our list uh, for, this, for these next mints. I'm not going to miss the next one over here. Uh, this is definitely <laughs> one of those ones. I just hope, however, they do the drop method on this. So it's done um, in a way that's fair, or at least, you know, it can work with the blockchain, hopefully. Um, or give us a then, chance to actually get one. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Just let us let us get one, dude. Because uh, this was like one of the things, like we said, we moved over to race CNFT. And this was like one of the things that I saw today is that. He's doing his collab over here with uh, with Disco Solaris, which you can see down. He's as part of his remastered program, but he's got his Disco Solaris right here. He's got the neon glasses with the pink and the green, um, and he's doing a giveaway right now as well. Um, and that winner's getting announced on the seventh. So go ahead and check out Race CNFT um, because he's got some new shit popping off right now too that I'm excited for. I know I've been kind of this shit just gets cooler and cooler every time he makes a new one. Well, everybody always wonders. They always come into the wraith, and I know we talk about wraith a lot. And I have I've not just disclosure. I've not sold a single one of my wraiths since I've had one. Like I just I hold on to those things mm -hmm. just because I genuinely like like the artwork on those things. Absolutely. Um, if you're looking to come in and kind of pump up and then sell these things, that's not the project that this is right now. This is definitely a, a collector type role. There's a good community that's being built inside of there, and then there's some cool stuff that you know wraith is building that because we talked about the hockey league um that he had built up from you know the race with the hockey sticks um and then I'll, on top of that i think the next event is going to be like the swords all the you know the knives and all those different things he's looking to build uh, like some sort of project out of that um but the big thing that he's been doing which i did want to talk about over here is his remastered set so basically like you said his artwork's getting better it's it's all started with those like kind of 2d race um, that we had known kind of like you can kind of see them right here on the screen they all started like this um, and now he's kind of bringing them back to life so these new ones which i'm uh, this is one of like a big fan of this one as well he's starting oh, to really right. cool i like, I like the card them. style too yeah yes. and it's got like the grim and like the little void rose and stuff like this um so i'm actually in the void society right now which wraith did re release his own token so if you do go to racing you can actually go to the void society is what it is 
And it's uh, basically a utility token for Wraith only. Um, it's not going to be traded back into ADA or anything like that um, at this point. So if you buy it, it's basically supporting the project. Um, but with that, if you own 25,000 of the, the void token, which it's seven ADA to make a poll. And then if you want to make additional polls in the same transaction, it's an additional five ADA. So if I wanted to do, you know, get two polls of it, I would send in 12 ADA over. Um, and you could guarantee to get a minimum of 2,500 void. Um, okay. up, to, up to up to 5,000 void per poll. So it'll cost you like about, you know, 20 ADA to really get into the void society. But by doing that right now, you're able to actually get in and mint these, uh, you know, the, these things right now for only 10 ADA, which is, which is an insane price. So he's doing like remastered versions of some of the more popular ones, which we've been voting inside of the discord. Um, so he's voting, you know, the more popular race out here and making these remastered versions of these things for you to go ahead and buy which I'm, I'm a big fan of all of them. Obviously, there's some of them are really sick. And he has the four horsemen, which are, these are like the one of the rarest race that are out there. And then for the Void Society members that are out there, they have oh, the cool. variant. They have some really cool like um, versions of these things, which I'm, I'm very, a very big fan of. So um, sad. Oh, that was Death. All right, yeah. Yeah, Pepsi yeah. Death. So he's got, I think the first four that- the other ones? Were, where they're they're dropping over time so they you know february 3rd is going to be the next uh drop of these of these things he dropped these first four and uh, they usually they're going to be part of drop two and eventually we're going to get through up into the 13th and then the public sale for these is going to drop over on 214 or valentine's day uh which i think is a, a friday no it's not friday. it's a monday monday, monday. damn i'm so <laughs> bad about that <laughs> wow. uh so 214 is when this is going to drop and these i think are going to be 28 uh, which again, not even a bad price to really get into these things. Um, so, you know, and then the old race, I believe he's working on some sort of like a utility, like kind of burn feature. If you want to burn a rate to get more void um, for future stuff, because the void will buy you in for the hockey leagues and other things like that. So he's, he's making like pretty much updating his collection to make them look even better than what they were. Um, and I've, I've gotten myself a few of these things as well. Um, but one he did do was my, remember my unsig wraith. That was one of my like staple ones that I did. He mm -hmm. went ahead and, uh, airdrops me this new one right here, um, which has got the unsig portion of that. And this thing looks sick. Like I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan. I don't know if it'll look. Yeah. The oh, quality yeah. on these things look really nice too. Oh yeah. They're amazing looking. I like so, the glitchy, the glitchy effect too. And the smoke in the background. Yeah. He's, he's done really well in the animations for this stuff. So I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan obviously of what he's doing. Um, but if anybody is also fans of us and, um, and, and race community, they know that Wraith at one point, um, you know, for my mom, he went ahead and actually made my mom a, a Wraith. She's like, I wish there was, I, cause I showed her one of these one time back in like a break. And she, uh, she's like, I like, I like purple. Does he have a purple one? And I was like, no, mom, I don't think they have a purple one. And I messaged like him in the discord about it. And he's like, don't worry, I got you. And he literally made my mom, uh, he dubbed her the community mom and made her a, a race CNFT. <laughs> Um, which was, which is super fun. I don't know if I have it sitting here. I mean, I might have her wallet sitting. I don't want to expose her stuff right now. Yes, I do, but I'm going to do it anyway. So basically, uh, <laughs> he made this community wraith for her, which is the purple. He put the little purple heart on there and we did a video back in the day for it. And it just was like presented with love to our community mom. Well, of course, because we're going into the remastered versions of these things, dude, he, re he made one of these for free and actually sent it over to me and I actually sent it out to my mom, um, over here. And I just had to go ahead and actually get this shown out. So the community mom has been upgraded for the remastered version of this stuff. It came out um, so good. Legit has community mom that says that on the top right there has the one of one with the purple heart still in there, the little purple glitch effect, which really like Tom, you were saying it looks like ghastly or hard. I know I like hers better than yours. Yeah. No, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the purple. Yeah. Yeah, the mom, the mom oh, deserves yeah. it right there. I said I sent it to her today and she's like, oh my God, that's so awesome. What happened to my other one? Did I lose that one? I'm like, no, you still got that one. Like, All right. <laughs> this is so cool. Tell them thank you. So Race, thank you for that. Um and one of the favorite things because I got her on Twitter right now is Wraith. And uh he put the suit for her as K Dog over there for, for my mom so that's her name on twitter k-dog um so i just well, i don't to realize say, that was her twitter name now too okay yeah i, I changed it for her because i was like mom you okay. got a wraith pitches the wraith pitcher and k-dog is her name now um because <laughs> uh, because karen doesn't necessarily work these days and uh yeah uh, yeah <laughs> don't be a karen be a k-dog you know uh um, so big fantastic, though so big big shout out to wraith for what he's building right now i love the artwork on this stuff and if you're looking to get into this um, you need 25,000 void to get into the boy society, or you can wait until, um, February 14th and buy these things for 28. And there's going to be more of these things that'll start to drop. He hasn't announced, you know, the next sale of all this stuff. And from there, he's, he's got a bunch of uh, the new, the veal, 
uh, is the next big drop. They're going to be kind of more in this style. Um, so he's got some new things coming out and he's more of a smaller community. It's not like a big, like huge project or anything right now, but uh, you know, it's, it's growing. And I'm obviously we're, I'm a big fan. He's, he's just the super nicest guy, uh, haptics over there. So big shout out to him. I just wanted to go ahead and I kind of highlight that stuff while we're sitting here. Definitely. Always, always supporting that. Always I give a yeah. shout out to him. Always sure. doing something oh, okay. new too and something creative and, and changing them up a little bit. Yeah. And, and Disco Solaris one, bro, that one's, that one's sick. That one's uh, awesome. I, yeah, I, I love what he's doing. Right? It's, it's a great little thing. I, I would hope to win that thing. Right. Um, but moving on from that, um, you know, you should have shown that TJ and Tommy. I'm going to jump in that now. I'm going to win. You're done. Yeah. You're done. Uh, yeah. Come jump in. <laughs> steal from you, dude. I don't know. My track record somebody, giveaways, I'll, though. Somebody, every time I say something to somebody, it's like, hey, this one's a giveaway. Hey, there's something going on over here. Like, I don't win it. And somebody that I know does, like, afterwards. I'm like, fuck, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> so, moving on um, to the big, big news that kind of dropped this week um, was Dead Pixels. Another play to earn game, which we've talked about, um, I think, on our show previously. Uh, they dropped their white paper, which we hadn't really broken into this year, which is a big game changer for, you know, the, mon- you know, there's 10,000 dead pixels that are sitting out there. They're, they're called the Genesis pixels. Um, and they're, this is a game being built. Uh, the creator is a guy named AF. Uh, he's a Plutus pioneer. He's like a super, super smart guy. Uh, dead pixels have their own marketplace, the pixel explorer um, over here that is all smart contract enabled. Um, so if you're looking to buy a pixel, go ahead and actually buy it from their website. Um, it's very interactive, which we've shown in the past. Um, you know, you can click on these things and they they do their, you know, they move around and do little things like that. And you can search and all that. Um, but the big announcement this past week is he did his second alpha demo for this, which I don't know if we have shown. I think we showed in the background maybe one of the demos, uh, Tom, on this, because I think he picked up a uh, fauna. Which was the guy doing all the three D versions of the dead pixels, um, doing like one, I mean, for that. He did it for you, right? Like he did yeah. your Santa Claus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so he picked up. I think he helped p- picking him up to help him with some of the three D modeling for the game to turn those, you know, probably from the two D cards into what they are. But the dead pixels are all on chain as well. Like everything's just like an unsig or one of those things that lives on the blockchain. Um, but this alpha demo dropped, and uh, it kind of just made people who are already realizing that, Hey, dead pixels are, you know, we're already one of the top tier things. They've been sitting, you know, up for six, 700 data floor for a while. Well, this just shot them up. I think the dead pixels floor, I don't know if we've been talking about it here recently, but you look at the recent sales um, we're pushing towards like an 1800 uh, ADA floor right now after this announcement. And uh, I think I'm sure it's going to continue to grow. And as the hype and the stuff, I got 5,000 sale right there. 8, oh, I need to get yeah. on. They're pushing, they're pushing towards like that 2k ADA uh, range right now. And one of the big, the big sells on this is that it's, it's a play to earn PVP game on Cardano's blockchain. And what you're going to be able to do, what he's showcasing off inside of this forge right now is basically you start with a base pixel. So the Genesis holders, there's 10,000 of those. They're all sold out. You can't get them anymore except on secondary. Um, but you can also go when the game comes out there and forge your own actual, uh, dead pixel. And like, I was like, you can see here, you can see the different pricing for different attributes. It almost has like a battle, uh, pass, like kind of style for these things as well. So you can buy like the forge pass, which will kind of level you up and be able to unlock different attributes that you can use. And each one of these different attributes that are in there, go ahead and actually do different things to your stats inside the game itself. So it gives like, you know, different ones give you different things. And the dead pixel, the bases, these are the most common ones, the black ones right here. And as you start to get more and more in depth, you, you know, there's vampires or there's wolves, there's uh, aliens, like there's other things as well. And these ones are, this is more like the tank role inside the game itself. And I think the pixels are facing off. I think they're three V three is what it is. So you have like different roles, different utilities. Like this is more of the, I don't know, the intelligence or the prolific ca- caster is how they're doing these things. I so. like all their passive and active uh, traits they have too on them. I just saw one of them said like berserk mode and uh, yeah. something else. Like uh, specials people. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like almost like abilities. Yeah. The, yeah. The, even like the alien, this is the one of the most expensive ones out there right oh, now. If you, if you have an alien, like I, I think I think there's a guy named Brinksley. I think he tags us sometimes and stuff, but those aliens are good for ridiculous. I think like we were talking like 40, 50,000, eight, probably more now oh, damn. Um, for that kind of stuff. But the big thing, like you said, is you can come in, you can connect your wallet. Um, I think you can basically there's NAMI CC vault. Um, and then there was a new one, which I've never heard of. There's another wallet over there that he had connected as well. 
Um, so this guy's super smart with his coding and he's going to get, you know, all the technicalities of this stuff. Um, pretty much he's getting it all worked out right now. And that's why they're so far ahead of the game. And what you're doing is you're basically minting, you know, forging a brand new pixel based on, depending on what base you have, it could be 10 ADA, 70 ADA, whatever it is. Um, and then you're adding on different attributes onto that uh, guy. So, you know, as, when you first unlock the thing, you have access to certain base attributes, the least rare of everything. And then as you continue to level up throughout the game, you unlock more and more attributes, which gets you better stats. Um, and each one of these attributes go ahead and actually cost a fee uh, for you to actually mint these different things. So if you want the chain right here, it's going to cost you 10 ADA. Um, you don't want the turtleneck. It's going to cost you 13.28. Um, and you can basically build your, your guide to whatever. I don't know if there's a max cap on that. I don't, I don't really look that far into it, but, uh, basically what you do when you're ready to go, um, you forge it up and it actually signs the transaction and mints it, which is a very advanced feature inside the Cardano thing as well. So not on top of that, you're paying and you're minting it all at the same exact time, like, like one in one transaction, like, right. You know, you're not, okay. waiting, not sending your ADA and then waiting for it to come back. You're sending your ADA and getting it back with it, which is, which is a really cool thing. Um, so you can see here that he's, you know, you're losing, you know, whatever that is, but you're gaining three assets. Um, so you're getting like the turtleneck, you're getting the chain and you're getting the base and that's your forge kind of token um, to go ahead and actually play the game. So as he shows you, you know, you got your, you know, the different stats, different things you can add on. Um, and then you have your different bases. So, the cool thing about this and why everybody got so excited, because obviously, you know, it's, it's cool that you have a game and you see this is the different pixels. You can kind of build mm -hmm. your team and different foraging slots and stuff like that. But the big thing about this is the Genesis holders, right? Like if you, what's the point of owning a Genesis pixel when people are going to be making new ones over here? Well, the big sell to that right now is that if you own a Genesis pixel and somebody is buying the attributes that you own inside the game, the proceeds of those sales actually roll over into the Genesis holders. So if you own multiple stats, if you own a stat that, um, you know, has more, that requires more ADA that people are buying, like you are getting direct proceeds um, because you own that attribute on your dead pixel and it's paying you out in ADA, which is, that's so sick, which is insane. Like that, that, that right there. And, and the big draw that everybody really, you know, they're like, that's, that sounds cool. Like, well, how much like ADA? So they dropped this, this Genesis, oh, wow. re Genesis rewards, like creator over here. Right. And this tight hoodie. Um, I think I was scrolling back to that video. I don't know if I can find it. That's the, the Kenny hoodie. I think. Okay. Find yeah. 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 I'm talking about the one that just shows the face. Yeah. It looks it in there yeah. right there. There it is. Yeah. The Kenny hoodie right there. Well, that's, that's one of the tight hoodies. So the price of these things, um, right now, this is the price currently at the time for how much the floor is for a tight hoodie. So if you wanted one, it's going to cost you almost half, you know, a half a million dollars in ADA to even buy a tight hoodie right now. That's how high they are. Um, the royalty amounts for these things, they have a whole calculator that basically breaks out to here's what, how much royalty that's going to earn you. I don't know how many times it's going to do it, but basically on the yearly revenue page right here, owning a tight hoodie with the estimated amount of um, money that they, they think that the game's going to bring in their projections can net you 115,000 ADA a year for owning that that pixel damn could you imagine if you were the guy buying this thing and you had more than one of these things you could literally retire off this game they they always say in the dead pixel community one pixel equals one house um and I, you can start to see why it. why some of these guys are saying that stuff um you know even even down to the last thing like down here the very minimum thing down here even if you own just the attribute for the chain just in general which is the least amount of one that still nets you 104 they're get, guessing that it's going to be about 141 ADA a year that's more people than you're staking too yeah i was gonna say you should say like multiple, multiple attributes too like you could add all that up yeah then you start to add up more and more and like so say for like me like the santa hat right there's 69 santa hats that are out there that's netting me 7,473 ADA on top of the extra two attributes on top of that. So I think I Yo, let me get that. Mine. I think mine's like around like 9,000 ADA a year. But can you imagine? Like I was hoping at one point just to have 9,000 ADA total and like in by like 2025 or 2026, something like that, when ADA is like sitting at 50 bucks and maybe 100 bucks, I'm retiring. And can you imagine being able to do it just from this one NFT? Um, and, and again, this has to assume that the game is going to take off and people are going to, you know, it's going to be fun and, and people are buying into it. Um, but if this does take off the right way, 
dude, uh, you're going to see a lot of rich people. They got me excited with the forge. I mean, they got, they've shown that off really well. It looks great. So I'm just now, now it's, let's see what the game gameplay is and, and right. what, what actually is going to go into it beyond that, you know, cause some of these looking at them, you know, 10, 15 ADA for one little attribute, like, you know, it better be worth my time to actually get in there and want to make those characters. Otherwise that's, that's really what it's going to kind of bank on is if, it's like, yeah. hey, this game's kind of okay, but I don't know about spending twenty eight just so I get a gold chain on my character, right? Um, so to really well, that's, is that. it going to be worth worth that gold chain? Like, is yeah. it enough enough to keep me invested in this stuff? And you know, seventy eight is not a, a cheap price, you know, down the line for. I mean, this is a cool thing, but you don't own the original. You're not getting paid for it unless you own the original. So, is this really worth spending that much money to play the game? that's going to be the key. Can they make it fun enough to want to play that? Obviously the people who own the Genesis, obviously like, yeah, dude, play the game. It's going to be sick. You know, I want to kick play ass, it. play it. Like fucking do the shit out of it. Cause they want to obviously get paid. Um, but you can kind of see it over here. So you can build, what is that? Two, four, six. If I go back and just how many are those actually there? That about my scroll game. So two, four, six, eight, ten 10 pixels that you can build over on this side over here. I maybe more up to 20. Um, which, which is cool, but I'm pretty sure it's a 3v, at least a 3v3 is what they're trying to build on this. So um, you can kind of see, TJ, I know your reaction to this was like, what the fuck, dude? I need me a dead pixel right now. I know. I was pissed I didn't fucking buy one when I made that flip two weeks ago. They were sitting at a six, 700 floor a few days ago before this announcement <laughs> dropped, and now they're sitting at close to 2,000 ADA floor. I know. Well, the one we looked up, what was it, Sunday night, and it was like 1,300 ADA, mm -hmm. but that one would have netted five thousand eight of yeah. the year i think we look we, we figured it out that's insane like so. if that's real like that's insane like <laughs> if you're minting one of these if you mentioned one of these guys right here like bro you're rich maybe maybe i don't know but uh can they deliver that's the next big thing here but i know everybody inside the pixel community is just like fuck yeah this is what i wanted to see you know i'm, I'm big so uh, besides yummy universe which obviously we're huge fans of it's just a completely different aspect of you know, the markability and stuff, what they're doing. Um, just another play to earn game play to earn. I think that's going to be the big like sell for a lot of NFTs is like, can the gaming features work? Is it fun to play? And if it is like, we've already seen like an Axie infinity and some other games out there um, that have done really well. in it with this model, um, if Cardano can do this right and he can, he can pull this off, man, it's just going to be huge for, uh, for not just dead pixels, but just Cardano in general, uh, getting people to come over and actually play it. So I'm curious to get more updates on this. And I know they're still looking to launch in sometime in the end of like quarter one, quarter two to get the game up and running. And then by quarter three, like fully, fully up and functioning and stuff like that. So um, I'm excited. Yeah. I mean, this has got all the hype behind it now. This demo showed off so much more than the first one too. It really kind of got much more in depth how like the whole interface and everything is going to work. So yeah, you know, they got, they had everyone waiting to see what they're going to do next for sure. I and, definitely and, want to see the gameplay for sure. Like Tom's like, what kind of gameplay is going to be? Oh yeah. And I think people too, if they really do want to get an idea of this, go ahead and check out pixels.org um, and check out their white paper. Um, Cause you, it does give you a really good, <laughs> uh, yeah, they do a really good job about kind of explaining everything, but the revenue system thing, obviously most people are probably like, you know, they give you the different bases for all these different guys and, uh, you know, the stats and different things that they'll, they'll carry. But most people are interested in the revenue. Like, what's that going to do for me? Um, you know, kind of thing. Um, so you can kind of see, like, just read through all the different things and like how the rotation is going to be um, and what the revenues will actually net you. That's kind of what everybody really wants to know. Um, so I don't know, man. Dead Pixels. Um, um, I know we've been waiting to talk about these guys for a while on the show, a little bit more, give an update. Um, but they're obviously leading that that space um, in that play to earn world, at least on Cardano and that dude AF. He's a cool looking, he's a cool dude. Um, everything that I've seen, he's also a fucking genius in that you know learning how to program this stuff. They were Dead Pixels, I think, behind Space Buds were like the next marketplace. Um, that was that you know yeah, big one at a smart launch. contract yeah. one, like yeah. smart contract. Um, I think mm -hmm. actually I don't remember Royalties. Cardano Cardano Apes maybe had was out there at one point back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, I think they were one of the ones too, but um yeah big shout out to dead pixels and what they got going on um and then uh just some fun things to kind of you know wrap up towards the back end over here as we like to say <laughs> on our side um fun this is a cool tonight. one i didn't know about this one tommy i think i know what you're getting into now you surprised me with this and i Did love I? this project yeah so i was surprised that i didn't see about it who? Must have been... yo our favorite who 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 <laughs> 
our black <laughs> owls over here. Um, I got smudge instead of bud. <laughs> <laughs> um but the cool dude tonight i'm just randomly scrolling i see an announcement from the block owls discord and they're like hey we have a you know what would be even cooler for your block owls is if they had some audio to them with this like the animation on these things obviously is like top tier already um we, we've already we've discussed that the lighting and the effects of these things but uh what i wanted to kind of showcase uh, today is you see a discord and they're like hey what would be even cooler is if we have some audio for you guys they were talking about their team i think it was a guy named sander um, but they basically took like real owl sounds and we're like, Hey, we're going to go ahead. And, uh, if you send us three ADA to this address, your, and your block owl, we'll send them back with like audio. The policy is still open. So your mint date will remain unchanged. Um, but it was just a fun little thing. So I sent my three ADA over and let's see if I can get a little play over here. Tom, if you can help us with the audio on these. What? It literally is just like an owl, like just getting glitched out over here, which is super fun. And the animation on this is so dope. Like, obviously, since it's the first time we've been it seeing really, this. It really, it adds to it well that they matched it up. It wasn't like they just took owl sounds and played it over top of like. No, it gets crackling. Like, you can like yeah, hear it, which is, well. yeah. which is super, super dope. And actually, if I can, since I mean, to do them justice, to really give like block owls, like the credit they deserve is if I can find the discord over here, which I have 9 million. And I know TJ, I stress you out every time I do this um, over here. Um, the video, the teaser video they announced, they even did it a, a, like a video for the actual animation for this. And if you look at this, it is it is so good. They do the owl sounds in here as well. The little switch the flip and move them over. <laughs> That's it cool. So, it is like so that. good. So they turn it around and then pop the switch on. Like and they, you, these guys, I'm excited for what these guys are doing, man. Like they are. No, they can make fun. I think it's it's Rogers. a one. It's a it's a it's a one man show. It's a one person team. Uh, no, they built. They've got more people now. Have they this. now? Okay, oh, that yeah. makes sense then, because they they got a, a great little. Uh, I mean, the the talent is there for the first original drop. It was you know caught our attention immediately. So I can definitely see them growing this, and, and they got the popularity now. They can take it some cool places. Absolutely, yeah. And even in that mention right there, they literally have new team members. So uh, welcome to our four new team members. Mm -hmm. um, you got Oli Maris, a 3D animator. Sander, the sound designer we were talking about. Phil, a project manager, 3D animator. And this guy, uh, Habard or Havard, uh, another 3D animator. So 15 plus experiences in the field. And uh, obviously the project's growing. That's really uh, exciting. Man. So you can basically upgrade your OG Black Owls and the Hydra Black Owls to, uh, with sound. And then if you stake with the Tiger Pool um, that they have, we talked about, I think, one time, um, it's a separate address for that. But basically you send three of ADA, you get back, I know, an eight and a half or whatever it is. Um, and then basically it's like um, the upgrade will be available until March 1st um, to do this. So no rush, but, um, you know, make sure if you want to upgrade, it doesn't do anything if you don't, but it's like, they sound way better with sound on them. So might as well, you know, it'll be, it'll be fun, for, fun for anybody. I mean, why not? It's only out. three ADA and you still get the original one anyway. I mean, just adding a little extra detail to it, which is, which is amazing. Yeah. And the policy date is still open. The original minting date will stay the same on there. And it's a fun little upgrade for like your block house. So um, I just, I love the sound on this. So if you, you know, hopefully the audio Tom might get you synced up over here, but uh, it's, it's dope, man. So I just want a quick shout out Block Owls on that because I saw that tonight and I'm like, dude, that's fucking sick. I'm going to go ahead and this one. <laughs> I was and surprised I, by that. And then I went ahead and minted it. So um, dope to that. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, which um, I know I'm sure we're, we're trying to get set up this, uh, you know, talking with these guys as well. And maybe uh, if you're listening to the podcast, you may see us uh, sitting down with these guys um, is Ada Ninjas. Um, they are doing their season two drop um for the next uh I forget the name of the clan over here i'm terrible about the name on that but um their next next set of uh season two i think it's uh at suko uh, is the name of the, the clan that they're dropping um this time around and that's dropping starting on friday um for the aramar which are the season one holders and it's a 48 hour uh you know mint time that they're gonna have it's a one-to-one -one mint and they're opening okay. it up on sunday uh sunday to monday um, the wrong wallet compensation. I don't know. I, I don't know. Did you guys jump into eight and inches um, back in the day when they launched originally? I did not know. No, I didn't either. I, was not I, I did. I jumped I had in. the funds low back then. Oh, yeah. I, I forget what exactly. I forget when they dropped. I don't remember if it was November or, or somewhere in that time frame. Um, I can't remember the exact date. Sometime in the past year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> 
you can cover, your bases. You can cover your bases with that right but um so basically what happened i think is they had a wallet address on, if i'm remembering right they had a wallet address on their website and then they had a wallet address in the discord I and i can't that. and i can't remember one of the two so one of them was wrong the addresses and they sent it and a lot of people just lost their ADA. They couldn't mint into the next like thing of it. And they were super pissed about it. And uh, Ada Ninjas did like a big like discord live inside of their uh, discord. And we're basically addressing it, doing an AMA with the community. So they weren't like shying away from all the hate and everybody, obviously they were pissed as shit. They're like, yo, how can you make this up? So I ha honestly haven't been playing catch up too much on this. So, you know, the wrong wall of compensation, it looks like, you know, these guys are going to go ahead and uh, make it up to the people who did accidentally get tricked or whatever it was that they just you know sent to the wrong address last time um, i like that and, they're doing that for me and, and they got their ada back it wasn't like they sent it to like a burner or like wallet or something like that they did get their stuff back it just they didn't get a chance to mint the the ada ninja so you know obviously you know you didn't get the project you were kind of salty a little bit um and then eventually the public sale is going to open up on monday which i believe is let me do my math the seventh um, at 8 a.m. UTC. So what is that for us? That's five hours beforehand. That's 3 a.m. I like time. how you said, let me do my math and then just open the calendar. I was yeah. just thinking the same thing. I was like, oh. damn, okay. Oh, hey, well, I wasn't doing the calendar down there. For God. I'm All right, today's the nice. second. So that's let Monday. me do my math. Hey, Wednesday, okay, Wednesday, got Wednesday, got Wednesday. It. Yeah. Oh, so Siri, what's what's Monday? <laughs> Damn, I didn't realize that's three in the morning for us. Three Holy in the morning, so yeah. So rough. that's when the 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 sale is going to be open for everybody over there. Um, so you know it, it's that's an early drop. But the Ada Ninjas, I know they're doing like a they're like a manga, they're dropping like a manga, uh, which I'm not too familiar. I'm not a big anime guy myself personally. Um, I don't really know. Like I I owned the the season one stuff, but I I no clue. I just kind of mentioned it because it was hot at the time back in the day so I, i'll be definitely interested you know you know to you know to learn more on uh, what, what what exactly these guys are building outside of that um so i'm excited uh to kind of learn a little bit more about this project because not just uh you know they were hovering at like a you know an okay floor kind of same thing like mutant crocs it's been recently. steady right yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they they jumped up i think um uh, you know the what are they they call them the moon the moon boys over on bitboy cryptos guys but they mentioned eight ninjas at one point the, sh the floor shot up for these guys um, and I think they still hold strong. I don't they're know. Over they're hundred now. Are they still so, sitting over? Are they still sitting over, over hundred? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one hundred and one. Yeah, it's perfect. So, there you go. Um, so obviously, when you introduce more into the the ecosystem, you know, you can assume that it's probably going to drop a little bit at first. Um, but if they're able to deliver on whatever you know promises that they're doing, you know, that's a probably good time to go ahead and pick some of this stuff up as well. Um, which is not financial advice, but hey, if you like them and you're interested, yeah, check them out yeah for sure um but yeah the artwork and stuff on these are dope i think i had a shrine one and stuff like that and i definitely uh, had sold it as well so uh, i always i always miss out before stuff kind of takes off <laughs> but uh the big thing is like these like that anime like kind of style it has like the weapons and different little like attributes and things like that it's pretty cool looking i think um, that was an umbrella <laughs> <laughs> my umbrella ella ella um yeah, hey, no, i like hey, it probably, hey. i mean you know hopefully you get to <laughs> sit down and maybe talk to them too about like here you know how the their plans with the different clans and then just their yeah with all that because it sounds like they kind of got a deep lore built into the background here um, yeah and yeah season that. two is a different clan compared to the other one so how's how that's how that's going to play out um obviously you can probably go to some other channels i know blake Cena you know, did an interview with uh with them as well so you can probably check that out too um on top of what you know what we got dropping so um uh, big shout out to aiden and just um appreciate you know them reaching out to us as well and uh, getting a chance to learn a little bit more about their project um wanted to shout them out another project which is on my mind which i'm sure we'll probably de delve a little bit quicker and deeper into is the fud buddies i don't know if FUD you guys buddies. saw this today um they've been taken off um you know they opened up their discord today and no whitelist was a big announcement, which I thought it was cool. Three, six, nine, damn, just fine. Um, I thought it was was fun over here. <laughs> God. Yo, dude, stop hating. I don't know why. Um, but they have some cool artwork um, over here. Just that, and it's funny that they're literally FUD buddies and they have the FUD bud bot. So basically, if you go inside the Discord, um, they basically are just having like fun with it. It's like add the word FUD bud, put your name combined. So it's like if your name FUD bud Lewis, yeah, FUD bud. Tommy Bear Hands, <laughs> Fud Bud T Bone, um, but <laughs> Tommy Clay Hands. Uh, but everybody in there is Fud Bud. I jumped in there recently, and the Discord already has like over like five. Who are you, Fud Bud? What? 
you know, your FUD bud, T O dub, M FUD, FUD Y. <laughs> FUD bud, T O dub, M Y. Um, FUD. Your FUD bud, lazy's 2T. For that. <laughs> Lazy 2T? <two tea? laughs> <laughs> yeah, lab is bear, 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 FUD bud. Um, but FUD these, the, these artwork on this stuff looks dope, dude. Um, I, I don't know. I don't have any release dates about anything like that. Um, but they had, February 1st, they had 500 followers over what's today, the second. They've already have over 3,000 in that, that time frame. So I don't know who it was that showed these guys off, but I did see this uh, image uh, the other day and it kind of like drew everybody over. So January 31st was their first tweet. Um, and since then, they've already amassed 3,200 followers. Damn. Um, which That's is a new one to keep an eye on for sure. Yeah. So the Discord opened up. They're having like a leveling. I don't know what, uh, what exactly is going on in there, but there is no whitelist. But the chat, when I did pop into it today, I don't know if I can we do a live stream of the chat while I'm sitting here. Um, but if you went into the actual uh, the stuff right here, dude, the the messages that earlier today were just flying like just boom, 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 boom. They literally had like a thirty second like slow chat. So the people are just going. It's like fud, 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 bud, fud, bud, fud, bud. All these people. So it's lit over there. I don't know what they're building yet, but. At least, yeah, they started off fun. I see them all now. Fud Bud Reggie, Fud Bud George. They're every yeah. single one, like they're all going with it. So it seems like it's a real community that's actually engaging as opposed to, you know, I would think bots wouldn't change their name to that in the Discord. Yeah. So is uh, is this our boy in nano frames over there? Fud Bud Nano? Fud Bud Nano. <laughs> got some boosters and say so got all the fun oh, Yeah, it is. I love that everybody's changing their Discord names for this just server right here. Like everybody's just, you know, having fun with it. I'm sure there's probably some bigger uh, people inside the community that are also in here as well. But everybody's like literally embracing the FUD bud like name, uh, which I think is actually really funny. So it's, I like I like seeing people actually do that. Yeah, jump in. Yeah, they're like engaging. Like they had the slow chat because you can see like the chat <laughs> just keeps going off. So they have like the slower chat over here. So it's like, you know, and everybody's big thing, the big joke about it, you know, it's like it's FUD. Like, please don't spread FUD over here. And these guys are kind of like joking about it a little bit. Um, they do put in a message out there to everybody as well is that, um, you know, they're, they're, these devs and mods are involved in other communities um, and, and throughout the scene of T-Space. And um, I'm curious, you know, who, who I don't know who they are yet. It'd be awesome to kind of hear a little bit more about who they are. Um, but they have mods from all these different uh, DGENs, uh, Soho's, Aiden Ninjas, Universe 25. So they have some big, big mods inside of here as well. Um, looks like some FUDBUD Lewis, Max. So actually it's the D Universe 25, DGEN Crypto Club, um and these are all devs that's curious and they're all kind of combining together to create a little project over here which is dope it's like a super um, group that's pretty sweet yeah and uh and i do i know they mentioned it inside of the announcement here somewhere um and it's like let's address the potential elephant in the room yes our project is called <laughs> called fud buddies we are ready for some jokes regarding you fud click on their roadmap i just clicked on it the roadmap yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny I love that. I don't know. Dope. I don't know. I don't know what the fucking lower map is. I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Uh, look at the previews for this stuff. It's actually dope. I like that. Reminds you of that. Was that the false idols ones coming out sometime soon? That yeah, one? that's another one like that. But I, I like the artwork on it. It's definitely something different. And it looks like it's unique. It's not just like kind of like this, some stock images like being rotated around with mm. different attributes and stuff like that. So uh, that's dope, dude. I love that, though. The roadmap is good. I don't know. I'm fucking know. Yeah. Guy with glasses on, just fucking got a little lights on there. It's dope. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Yeah. Um, so shout out to Fud Buddies. I know that was something that just kind of blew up today as we're sitting here on this Wednesday, uh, getting to talk about these guys. So go give them a follow. Yeah, 3264. Sure. That's the first time that we're calling them out on our show. And by the time it's like Pavia later, they got like fucking 30,000 followers, 60,000 followers, whatever the hell it is. We're keeping track of the Fud Buds. No Fud. Buddy buddies. No Fud. No Those Fud. Buds. No Fud, just Buds. No fud, just buds. It's buds. Some of their art, it kind of reminds me just because the heavy out, like the, the outline of it, um, of like bright pals, just not bright. Like it just doesn't have that like pastel not Easter like colors to it, but like just the hard line. Thick, not bright like, buddies. Uh, not cartoony bright buddies. style. He's got a little bright light right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, no, look at that. They got him on the moon over here with a little thing over there. In the jacuzzi like on the moon. They got some, like, what is that? That reminds me of the Joseph uh, Miranda, the little logo, that little thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's, that's dope, man. Whoa, dude, what if Joseph Miranda's sneaking in there somewhere? That's why that inspired like that. It could be. You never yeah. know. 
Making yeah, calls now. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, not fun though. You know, I'm trying to spread it. You know? um, <laughs> last thing too, also wanted to shout out, um, big shout out actually to our boy uh, Ridos or Reed over yes, at the right, community yeah. mod over for Pavia. Um, first one to utilize our tip jar or our wall address for F35 to us. Uh, we always, you know, we've opened that up now inside of our, uh, you know, inside of the link tree and then also on some of our videos, because obviously we all work full-time jobs. Um, you know, we, this is kind of just a thing we do for fun on the side. So anything, you know, that anybody wants to go ahead and donate or whatever is obviously something that's just funding any kind of future content giveaway, something that we're doing to kind of help grow this channel here. Um, so he sent us over some love laces for the metaverse over with uh, Fabia. And I, we just always I had to shout out Ritos for that, man. That, that was super dope of him. He's it's our first. It the, was a 35 in it too. Remember what you yes. saying? And that was, yeah, that was the other thing too. It had the, it had 35 inside of it right there. The lace skates, uh, which we've talked about the love laces before over here, which are doing like the, sh- you know, the shoe uh, NFT collection um, that we'll be integrating too with metaverse as well. Um, but I thought that was dope of him. So it was like a perfect like way because like you're right, he's like a Pavia mod. He's huge in the Pavia, um, and Love Laces are going to be integrating with them. So it was a perfect like fit. He's like, I could donate you guys to made it, but he's like, this who knows, this thing does well or something like that. You know, do what you want with it. But that does just super dope of him. Go ahead and send <laughs> it's that cool over. seeing the project. Yeah, it was a very nice surprise. I think you noticed that TJ. You just kind I of did. Like, open the wall. Like, it was a lace like, skate. I think someone sent us something. Like, what and is I read this? the note because he's even always put the notes on the transactions. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's cool. See, I was expecting to get flooded with like you know, dogs on a chain or something, or yeah. was it Coco Locos or something? But I want a Coco. Yeah, 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 I want Cardo. a Coco. No, no. <laughs> Ever just sends us her Cardo Lords. What is that yep. one that Liam minted? Cardo. The Cardo Dicks or something? Oh yeah, Cardano Dicks. Oh Cardano yeah. Dicks. Yeah. A lot of people <laughs> sent like the Pernus token. Ooh, the Pernus token's another Ooh, one. Pernus, yeah. Pernus. God, we're gonna get flooded like eventually here. Everybody's gonna be like just sending us some fucking. I'm just bullshit dude like it's gonna be great though we'll have some earnest fun. token not you gotta close dms on twitter yo now, one of the other pictures <laughs> yo rule of life right there he goes don't be a penis be a furnace be a furnace <laughs> <laughs> first to by for sure uh big shout out to read us though man thank you uh appreciate that, man. You. that that was that was super dope for you man um wrapping it up on the back end wrapping again he's up on the back end nah it's uh you know freedom after dark over here always. yeah another one it's always man we can never stick to an hour it's just there's too much shit going on inside of the space and even still i feel like we have so much more we could cover it's just never it never fails man we had to cut topics yeah we've been pushing topics and cutting things that you know we just can't get a full yeah, segment I, out of it's bumped all of mine we've never been grasping for, <laughs> TJ, for content that's for sure tj and excel shared excel file or just tj's topic delete bump, no, just, bump. gone gone <laughs> <laughs> if there's but, uh, time if there's time we'll get if there. there's time well that's i mean that that goes back to part of like you know i got people sometimes that'll reach out and be like hey can you guys talk about this or hey what do you think about this and it's like i i you know sometimes i know what they're talking about sometimes i have no idea and it's like where do i fit that in on top of the stuff that we know that we want to go ahead and cover as well um and i think that is kind of where a perfect like discord and you know these spaces and stuff like that that we're doing um you can always catch us i know i had a good uh i've kind of been jumping in mainly on the main account for the cnft taco tuesday um with hidden order j crypto cardano poppy and uh, time for dylan um but though that's a space that's evolving that you can kind of catch us in live to ask some questions and learn more about stuff and then uh, these Discord, I think the Discord is going to be a great way for us to kind of connect with people outside that want to have, you know, our perspective on certain things, or they may not get to hear it in the, you know, the actual episodes themselves, but actually get a chance to listen to us in Discord or do some chats or maybe a YouTube live, whatever it may be that we're doing. Um, so I'll be that's... pretty soon, hopefully, too, right? I mean, you guys, you yeah. were in that space last night, Taco Tuesday. You guys were in there for three and a half hours last night. Taco. Like, you know, yeah. And until almost, you know, 1130 or midnight. And then Dude, uh, it gets yeah. late. We had the, there's like this crazy thing we were building like uh, with J crypto and, and all these guys where uh, they're talking about building like a, a CNFT taco stand outside of uh, CNFT con, like literally just being like outside selling tacos to everybody before they get in the door and us getting kicked out. We're renting like a trailer. We're doing all this crazy stuff. Um, oh my so God. it is wild. Um, as we're talking right now, you got Tom over here with Mr. Chow. Uh, got a cat cam now. He's, he's coming on my, 
coming on the desk and all I'm knocking everything <laughs> well, over. Well, my dog came in earlier too. He was just crying to go out and I shut the doors and let my wife do it. Dude, Chow was a little vocal last time. I'm surprised he's, he's getting a little camera shy right now <laughs> over there. He doesn't know what I'm doing. He's like, why are you picking me up and putting me in your lap? I want to lay on your desk and cross your whole keyboard and mouse at the same time. Dude, how old, how old Chow's gonna be getting up there, man? Because I remember when we were in college, dude, Chow was just it's hanging out eight there. Eight or back nine then. now, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's getting up there. Old man has lived like what 18 15, to 20, 14, or 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. I don't know. Yeah, I don't just, know. To the point where you're just like you're getting too old, man. <laughs> uh, but dude, that's yeah. So the Discord's something that uh, I think we're gonna try to get going here really soon. I think TJ's got us pretty set up on all the bots and everything. Uh, we got some fun things to go ahead and get planned and uh, just you know building a couple community. things but it should be should be good to go soon for I'm sure i'm hoping by the next time you hear this podcast next friday that we have a good announcement to go ahead and say guys we caught you in the discord because i think big things for us that we do want to do and stuff like that are definitely like the you know the game nights giveaways um uh, just chatting with people in general um trying to build a community because like you said there's a lot of takes and a lot of things that people want to know but i again we don't have always the time and we could sit here and talk for four hours sometimes if we really wanted to i just i don't want to <laughs> i don't i don't want to. Oh, don't on game nights or something would be fun too it'd be nice to interact with people like you know not just talking about internet pictures all the time you know get something yeah, else like, like yeah on. what else like, do you do get to like, know yeah. some real people like yeah like what other things they're into and you know maybe we share common interests like certain there's games. nothing else yeah just exactly that's, sometimes there's that's what it feels like it's just not 24 7 yeah no, for sure. Like this is obviously the podcast is why you're here to listen about these different things. But yeah, man, sometimes you need to chill out and just take a break. So well, Twitter's Anyways. like the only like social media that I really check like all the time immediately. Like I'll check Facebook and Instagram sometimes, but it's definitely like on the bottom list of like when I go and check that. No, that first thing is the Twitter. What are our notifications? What do you got yep. going on? And uh, so, yeah, there's nothing uh, else. I don't have time for anything else because anytime you can just no. keep checking Twitter, it's always something new. It's it always new news. It's, so. if it's 10 to 1 Twitter all day. Sure. Yeah, it's just it Twitter all day. So fast in this space, too. Dude. Like, it's so quick. Like, uh, something, and like you said, we do this episode and two days later, we're like, fuck, man, there's like a new piece of news that came out. And we're like, damn it, I wish we would have talked about that. So, yeah, that may be even the little things that we look at going forward, too, because Tom, Tom over here is killing the editing game um, with these intros, with these different effects and different things. So, um we're, we may jump into some different type of content as well here as like more updates things um we have we have a lot of different ideas and books so um if that's something you guys want to see too maybe we'll uh we'll, we'll get have a little bit of fun with that kind of stuff um or catch us on our instagram where you can find yeah. some funny shit on there every now and then too which is dope um so yeah discord is opening up here soon um I, that button when discord will be here soon we will launch that on our twitter and blast that out and get get a chance to uh, chat with everybody um coming up here soon so I'm sure we'll have another busy week here and another fully loaded you know episode 16 next week as well so you know, keep, episode keep on 16. Look out. happy minton yeah you know, ha- happy minton days all right guys well we'll catch you guys appreciate everybody listening out and uh we'll catch you guys on the next freedom 35